Okay, thank you, Dr. Mohani Rishnan. Uh, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. We are very happy to welcome you for the fifth day faculty development program. May I request the HOD, Department of Physical Education and Sports Sciences, Dr. Albert, to give the welcome address. Mike on money here, Albert. Uh, very good morning, Dr. Jesus Rajigma, sir, Organizing Secretary. Thank you, sir. Good morning to all. First, first of all, I would like to thank each one of you for joining this one week faculty development program. I feel great, proud to say that this faculty development program has been organized by SRM Institute of Science and Technology, College of Science and Humanities, and the Department of Physical Education and Sports Sciences, and the Department of Yoga in collaboration with Lashmi Bhai National Institute of Physical Education, Gwalior. A one week virtual faculty development program 2022. Such so the faculty development program to enlighten the young mind and promote the participation of students and faculty at all lives. I would like also, I would like also very warm our director, Dr. Mohan Krishnan, director of sports in SRM University, welcoming you, sir. I would like warm welcome to the Dr. R. Vasudevaraj, Principal, SRM Arts and Science College, uh, Katanglutur Campus, uh, at the Madras University Affiliated College. He was a dynamic person. He is a well-known person. He is a proud, very, very creative mind, various departments, arts and science growth. He, 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 accept, he invited, accepted, to join with us kindly to be part of the valuable times for a uh, faculty development program. Welcome you, sir. I would like to warm welcome you to a renewal person, a speakers, Dr. Yes, Sedu, Arts and Science, Sedu, Assistant Professor, Department of Physical Education and Sports Sciences and Manon Maniam Sundarnar University, Sirnal Valley. His topic, digital design and layout for the track and field. He delight who are like to their valuable time and join with us today to be this faculty development program. We are honored to have you also with us. Once again, I welcome you, sir. Dr. Sedu, sir. I would like, I would like uh, my uh, faculty members and my dear students welcome you and various university faculty members, directors, and uh, the coaches, trainers, you, uh, all of you welcome you welcome for valuable time the join with us thank you thank you one and all welcome you uh, thank you dr albert for a welcoming the gathering uh, may i request dr vasudev raj principal sr martin science college to give the inaugural letters sir please good morning to all i'm audible yes, yes. Sir, yes sir you're audible sir yeah, good morning to all. Uh, it's my pleasure to be part of this 8-day faculty development program organized by the Department of Physical Education and the Department of Yoga. Actually, it's one of the finest program organized by this uh, Physical Education Department. Uh, I'm congratulating the team members uh, who are behind this program because at this moment, this is very much important for everyone, especially to the faculty members, to learn something about the importance of the 
physical education and yoga actually the sports and games is a part of our culture since the sangam era actually what's a traditional game of tamil people jallikattu maadu pidithu you know it's a one of the famous games played by the uh, tamil people from the sangam era also so at this time i uh, during the pandemic time as of all we are all know that we had suffered a lot due to pandemic situation to my view the most affected people is the students and faculty members because for students is concerned from school to college they have been transferring so this is a transformation period to the students but at the time of that transformation transferring from the school to college we were not able to guide them how to go ahead because completely locked down almost one year almost four semester students have taken their examinations only through the online mode you just imagine what is the mindset of the students after uh, lifting out the pandemic i mean uh, lock, lockdown after the students started to come to the college personally i felt very happy to say, to, to say the students in, in, in our campus but at the same time after seeing them inside the classroom after gathering information from the faculty members about the mindset of the students i felt very bad the actual situation is the students are not able to sit more than 30 minutes in this one place this is a pathetic situation and they are not able to write more than one page continuously since because the two years almost they haven't taken any examinations so they are not attending the classes and also i have seen one more uh, uh, worst situation that uh, uh, in the classrooms the faculty members they are taking the classes in the empty classroom with the empty benches they are working what is teaching there must be two way receiver and the sender without them the faculty member they took the classes so it was one of the uh, uh, since we have been uh, it's one of the uh, Uh, what to say uh, it is a unconventional method for we have been following this for past two to three years because our conventional method of teaching is only the chalk and board method we as the students also need to improve their quality after the pandemic as well as the faculty members also should improve their quality to transform themselves to uh, uh, update themselves to handle the students so during the situation i appreciate the department of physical education and uh, yoga department yoga the, uh, appreciate the both the kechodis they have uh, come forward to organize this 8 day faculty development program actually in faculty development program they we should think only how to improve the teaching quality now here the staff also need to improve their quality to handle the in the present day situation as i told you that uh, our sports is one of the uh, part of our culture in this case you know the one of the uh, main game like kabaddi you know what is the actual meaning of the word kabaddi kai pidi playing the games holding the other hands and playing this is called kabaddi this is one of the international game accepted by the all over the world so similarly uh, so while playing the kabaddi the students they are learning some defensive skills that is kabaddi teaches us defensive skills at the same time hockey teaches us the leadership skills and chess teaches us how to plan and planning and the execution and running it helps us to focus our mind what and what we doing so generally is for in sports we are gaining something by learning something while play this is a like a practical class actually we, uh, uh, i can say that the sports and the games it teaches the management principles what management principles says it says only how to manage the situation so we playing games and the sports we will learn something to how to handle the situation how to manage the situation so during that time it is uh, it helps the faculty members to learn something to concentrate let us uh, we have celebrated the Yo- world yoga day now only we are gaining something learning something about what is importance of the how far it helps us 
even in the hospitals also they are insist in the patients to go for meditating and uh, yoga so this sports and games learning something i i think the past of seven days the people they would have learned something about the importance of the sports and games so in this situation i feel very great to participate in this program i do wait here to learn to know some unknown factors about the sports and games especially in games thank you very much wish you all good luck all the best thank you so much for giving a wonderful uh, inaugural address sir thank you so much uh, ladies and gentlemen it's time to introduce the today's speaker dr sedu i feel extremely happy to introduce a young leader in the field of <coughs> physical education and sports science in india dr sedu he did his bsc biochemistry in the year 1999 young peer in the year 2001 young phil in 2005 and phd in the year 2007 He has great interest in the specialized areas such as research, statistics, exercise physiology, and physical literacy. So far, 14 PhD scholars have received their doctorate under his able guidance, and five of them are pursuing. He works as assistant professor in the Department of Physical Education and Sports in MS University. He is a gold medalist in MPET and UGC JRF awardee. Created new meet new meet record in 400 hurdles at the MS University Athletic Meet during the year 2001, and still it is unbroken. He has presented papers in 25 international seminars, and he is a resource person for more than 100 seminars all over India. Wow to Dr. Sedu. Yeah, <clears throat> thank you so much. most respected dignitaries on the virtual plat- platform respected organizers of this one week ftp program the convener most respected and good friend of the department of physical education and sports of manormani sundaranar university dr r mohana krishnan sir director srm institute of science and technology and the co-convener dr s j singh albert chandrasekhar dr m sendil kumar the organizing secretary of this program dr nc jesus rajkumar sir and other coordinators faculty member of srm institute of science and technology and most distinguished participants of this program very good morning one and all this is my 113th platform to present on various titles related with the physical education and sports for this i must pay my gratitude to my teacher my parent and the god almighty and also the listeners on various platform so once again i thank srm institute of science and technology for giving this beautiful opportunity to enrich my knowledge where i am working and also sharing whatever i learned out of my interest on a particular area which is called as track and field to the fraternity of physical education so for that i would like to thank the srm institute as well as the department of physical education and sports for giving this beautiful opportunity today thank you sir thank you so much because you know i used to say the platform is very very important to everyone to perform or to so cast their talent in front of the audience so to you provided me a platform to so cast my talent or so cast my knowledge to the physical education fraternity today and also uh, encouraging me to go with a different title um, when we spoke to regarding this ftp program uh, mohan sir very strictly told that you should not cover uh, the area which you was taken previously it must be a new and innovative to the physical education people then i promised a yes sir i i will try i will try to do something new which was not focused so far in the any platform Uh, even though i shared a few content on my youtube channel but it was not shared anywhere else 
thank you sir thank you so much for your uh, confidence uh, on me uh, with this now i am moving on to the title uh, digital uh, design and layout of truck and field so we already learned the design and layout of truck and field i just added a term digital as our guest of honor vasudevara sir very uh, rightly pointed out the significance and the uh, impact of uh, covid 19 for the past two years uh, in almost all discipline uh, physical education is not exceptional where we faced a lot of difficulties because most of the department they are used to handle the classes theoretically with the help of virtual platform but department like physical education we always depend with the practical so we were struggled a lot to carry the message to the players through practical but even though we adopted some technique with available technology on those days and we also succeeded in that way um so uh, during that time only we are we we think about that why why we can use this uh, digital uh, platform in our department okay so india is moving towards the digital way and physical education is also moving towards the digital way so here i am going to so how you can draw a play field even you can sit in your room and mark the area which you required to lay out either it is a track and field or any sports and games whatever it may be yeah? but it is very easy step because a number of technologies are available nowadays but we people we may not aware of those technologies so today i am going to highlight few technologies in this platform so now i move on to the the key factors of track and field initially and then i will move on to the how these um, design and layout may be done through by using the technological methods okay so now i would like to share my content i hope it is visible to everyone uh, first before commencing this uh, presentation i would like to thank my good friend dr s saraboji the principal aditya college of physical education kakinada who is my supporter and mentor on track and field uh, with his support today i am going to present this uh, layout and the design of track and field thank you sir thank you so much it's my gratitude so before going to the digital learning digital drawing or digital design of track and field we must know the key factors which found the baseline for design and layout of track and field okay so what are all the general aspects of planning to lay out a yeah, 400 meter standard track as per the recommendation of world athletics in his in their published material which is called as a track and field facilities manual track and field facility facilities manual and a track and field layout design based on that book and a chart recommended by world athletics i am going to present the key factors are the general aspects of track and field. Okay. So a yeah, beautiful stadium you are witnessing right now, which is nothing but, you know, the recently held Tokyo 2020 Olympic Games at Japan. And this is the national stadium of Japan where the track and field events were held. You see the structure of the track and field stadium on the oval and the inside area where the inside area they were used for uh, some other uh, games but you are going to witness the new that is upcoming event world championship 2022 which will be held at oregon united states of america next month july 15 to 24 where the track and field stadium exclusively built for conducting track and field events alone and the stadium where end the event you can't do any other act sports and games at the uh, center area the center green area you can't conduct any games because the stadium was specifically designed to conduct track and field and this is the first time this is the first time in history america is hosting 
world championship at us and even though the america hosted four olympic games but this is the first time they are hosting the world championship okay um this world championship as uh, so this uh, track and field measurements layout purely designed by international association for sports and leisure facilities i a k s dear participants kindly uh note down this because we used to know that all track and field procedures were drawn by world athletics it is not like that but it is a control of the world athletics only but it was purely taken care by i a k s i a k s is nothing but international association for sports and leisure facilities uh, situated at kolanch germany they are the authority to give a explanation or procedure of layout and the marking and for your information when the track was delimited with 400 meter finalized the length of the overall length of the track was finalized during 1928 amsterdam olympics the overall length of the track was finalized as 400 meter before it varies during 1896 in athens the length of the overall length of the track was 400 meter and then later on the length of the track changed to 500 meter 136 383 389 500 and finally it was finalized as 400 meter during 1928 onwards this is for your information and we know that uh, this is a marking plan uh, which is available on worldathletics.org that is website official website of world athletics that you can download this marking plan for 400 meter standard track as well as 200 meter indoor track so this is we are going to make it at the end so what you imagine because you know before moving on uh, to the uh, coming slides you must have a visual picture what you are going to learn அதாவது நம்ம நம்ம கிட்ட ஒரு அந்த ஒரு மென் ஐடியாஸ் இருக்கு நம்ம பிரெயின்ல வந்து இந்த மாதிரி ஒரு விசுவல் கிளிப்பிங்ஸ் இருக்கு அப்படின்னு பாத்தீங்கன்னா டெஃபினட்டா வந்து நான் சொல்லும் போது ஆல்வேஸ் திஸ் இட் கோஸ் டு திஸ் விசுவல் கிளிப்ஸ் அதுக்காக தான் முதல்ல வந்து இந்த ரைட் பிரெயின் ஆக்டிவேட் பண்ணணும் வி ஹாவ் அ ரைட் அண்ட் லெஃப்ட் த லெஃப்ட் ரிசீவ் ஒன்லி ஓரல் கமேண்ட் அண்ட் ரைட் ரிசீவ் தி இமேஜ் ஆர் பிக்சர்ஸ் ஸோ ஐ ஆம் சோயிங் தட் திஸ் இஸ் த ஃபெசிலிட்டிஸ் விச் வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு டீல் for the next two hours and this was prepared by the world athletics and published in the official website of world athletics it is a 2019 marking plan okay uh, there are, there are a few changes are happened when compared to the 2008 marking plan and the 2019 marking plan there are a few changes are happened in this so we will see what 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 it is while i am going to continue with that okay and next we know that this is the interior space interior space in many stadium the interior space are used for different purpose even institution like as we don't have a much facilities when we plan for a 400 meter track we need to plan how to use this interior surface the interior surface of the track most of the institution they doesn't have a much area to lay out all the play field in such conditions you can use this interior play field for different game purposes so how we can how you have to plan even the world athletics recommended a few measurements for the international events we can plan accordingly a uh, based on the availability and based on the facilities in our institution so first 
the radius because it was fixed. The radius is fixed. You don't have a range. Those days when we study Master of Physical Education, our teacher taught that you can have a length of the stripe from 75 to 85. Now it is not like that. So if it is a standard track, if it is a standard track, please, if it is a 400 meter standard track, the radius that is KLR, curb line radius or CLR, construction line radius. Previously, we used to say it is a CDR. Uh, dear participants, don't use the word RDR, use as RLR, running line radius because there was no running distance, sorry, uh, CLR, construction line radius, there, wa there were no um, sentence like curve distance radiance in track and field facilities manual book published by World Athletics. In that book, you can find the term RLR, CLR, KLR. These terms now, they are used for the track and field facilities manual to indicate the radius and the radius, different radius we used. Okay. So the RLR, RLR is that thing, uh, the, sorry, again, I am mistaking myself. This is called as a KLR or CLR. KLR curve lion radius or CLR construction lion radius must be must be 36.50 next the length of the stripe must be 84.39 as i discussed previously those days we were highlighted with that even we can have a length starting from 75 meter to 85 meter. Frequently or oftenly we used to construct a track with the 80 meter as a stripe, but now it is not recognized as a standardized track. If it is a 400 meter standardized track, it is also one of the criteria to meet out the standard track guidelines that the length of the stripe must be 84.39 meter okay on both the sides and again two equal stripe and two equal bend two equal stripe and two equal bend it's also one of the property of the 400 meter standard track okay and as we discussed you now the inside or the interior rectangular segment may be used the interior rectangular segment may be used for different purposes. As we have seen in near stadium Chennai, the interior rectangular surface are used for to conduct ISL football tournaments. So we can plan accordingly. It's also an um, information for the listeners to utilize this area in a proper way. And the second one, the semicircular segment on both the sides. Semicircular segment on both the sides also utilized for the small area gate. Small area gate. So here you are seeing the a very clear pictures about the interior surface of the 400 meter standard track. So this surface may be utilized effectively for small and uh, big area games or field or court games. Okay. And this was also suggested by World Athletics in his, in their track and, track and field facilities manual. He can also use the interior area to conduct the football tournament football tournament, the width 45 to 90, length 90 to 120. Even you can also conduct before matches. 
So their recommended length and width is given. And American football, rugby. Okay. So plan while planning the 400 meter standard track or constructing the 400 meter standard track, and you can also subsequently plan how to use effectively the interior, in, inside or interior area of the 400 meter standard track. So this was the entire measurements. This was the entire measurements. So the minimum length, see here, the minimum length required to conduct, to construct a 400 meter standard track is 176.91. I said the minimum, the minimum. If you add obstacle free zone on either side, or all the four sides of the track, and also for further assessment, uh, uh, area, assessing area to transport the equipment. Suppose if you want to construct the gallery, you can add surfaces, you can add free zones according to the availability. Here it was given the minimum length and width required to construct a yeah, 400, 400 meter standard track. See here, the length, overall length, 176, and overall width, 92. So 177, 93. 177 into 93 meter is sufficient to construct a 400 meter track, a 400 meter track we can discuss elaborately how to calculate this overall length and overall width. Okay. And as per the world athletics, there are a different competition categories are there. The different competition categories are world championship Olympic games, where the facilities are the requirement of track facilities, field facilities are something different. When compared to the competition category two, that is area, Asian level, regional level, national, national, Asian. Okay. So where you can have a competition category two and competition category three, four, five, like that. So we used to only concentrate the competition category one and two. For the competition category one and two, you need to have a, a category of track, construction category one and two. One and two. So, for what are all the facilities are required for construction category one? We'll discuss. So, construction category one for the competition category one, construction category two for the competition category two, construction category three for the competition categories three, four, and five and six, construction category for four competition category seven and construction category five, competition category nine. So you can use different category of track for the different competitions, but, but mostly we will use category one and category two, okay. Um, in India, we have only six class one track and more than 100 class two tracks. In India, we have a only a six class one track where you can conduct international competitions and more than 100 class two track. In Tamil Nadu, no class one track are available. Only the tracks which we have are class two tracks. So we are unable to host the international competitions unless otherwise it may be modified. So for the construction category one, see here the at the top, the construction categories one, two, three, four, and these are all the requirements. I said the competition category one, a track, 400 track, at least eight lane, eight over lane, eight straight lane for 110 meter and one, uh, sorry, 100 meter and 110 meter hurdles to host the 100 meter and 110 meter hurdles. The facilities must be there. Okay. And second conditions, water jump for 
stable chase must be there water jump either inside or outside um you can um, see adu ipo nadakka koodiya world championship la inda stable chase neenga regular ah paathadhu mari illama vidhyasama vachirpaan the stable chase odaya placement the water jump odaya placement is totally different what we witnessed so far in the international stadium including the stadium at chennai where you can see the stable chase water jump placement at the second bend the interior semi circular rectangle la irukum the second semi circular area ku la or third straight form panni adanudaiya middle la the water jump irukum but in oregon where the world championship 18th edition of world championship ange paathumna there was a different marking used i said because the track and field exclusively designed to conduct only track and field events no other events inside this stadium university of oregon has a stadium it's at the oregon 22 no world championship is conducted at the university of oregon stadium i will show the 3d images of the oregon stadium later on okay the next long jump and triple jump facility must be there to conduct competition category 1 and 2 high jump facilities pole vault facilities on both the side you can give a uh, provision for landing area on both the side in the semi circular uh, segment okay and discuss and hammer throw combined facilities so now the hammer and disc were conducted in the same circle but the circle is modified according to the event or the radius of the circle is reduced by using the portable material so there was a combined because both even we needed a safety cage safety cage is required to conduct a disc and hammer throw so we need a combined facilities for disc and hammer throw javelin throw facilities on both and shot put facilities as whatever we discussed and now we are going to witness this is a 400 meter standard track the overall length of the 400 meter track must be say the length of the, the overall length of the track must be 400 meter first criteria second criteria the track must have two equal straight and two equal bend two equal straight and two equal bend and the third criteria in the straight minimum eight lanes in the straight minimum eight lanes maximum no restriction at all i will show the track which has 10 lane and also the track which has 11 lane but in the curve in the sorry in the bend in the bend a maximum nine lanes minimum eight lanes maximum nine lanes in the bend okay so two equal straight two equal bend straight minimum eight lane maximum no limit and bend bend 1 and 2 must possess minimum eight lane and maximum nine lanes maximum nine lanes okay and the straight to conduct 100 meter as well as 110 meter hurdles and there there must be a 3 meter assembly area 3 meter assembly area behind one, starting up behind the starting line for 110 meter as you are seeing as per the animation no this is the area next 17 meter run out so after the race over the follow through or run out we need a free space of 17 So one ten plus seventeen one twenty seven plus three. So one hundred and thirty meters length required at the home straight at the home straight. Okay. So this is the finish line, and I said no. This is a water jump. This is the water jump. Usually, and ninety nine percentage of the track having the water jump like this. this rectangle this semicircular segment has a straight 
we used to call this is a third stride in the track and field this is the home stride this is the back stride and this is a steeple chase stride third stride so at the middle we have a water jump facilities but in oregon the water jump facilities are constructed here because this surfaces are used for the field even field even we will see it we will see the stadium and then you will understand the difference of setting water jump in other uh, stadium uh, compared with the oregon stadium okay and there must be a two uh, facilities for long jump and dribble jump maybe on both a side and next there must be a high jump two high jump facilities and this is pole vault so here you can see vault in box this side it's also permissible and vault in box this side sometimes be regard based on the light settings if it is a indoor there won't be affect even though we need to see the conditions the environmental condition based on the uh, landing area may be fixed this side or the other side so the runway or the facilities must have a landing area on either side okay so two pole vault and as i said this is combined facilities for combined facilities for disc and hammer throw even where we will use the safety cage safety cage okay and there are three sorry two facilities for javelin throw and three facilities for shot three facilities for shot okay so this is what we expected this is what we expected once we go for laying a yeah, 400 meter standard track okay so and finally as we discussed in the beginning there must be a obstacle free zone there must be at least as per the world athletics track and field facilities manual it was recommended at least 1 meter inside and 1 meter outside without any obstacles so that it is called as a obstacle free zone you can see here this is inner edge and this is outer edge from inner edge 1 meter obstacle free and the from outer edge it is 1 meter obstacle free minimum i said minimum if it is possible you can keep 5 to 10 meter obstacle free zone at outside at the outside at the outside you can keep 1 to 10 meter obstacle free zone which may support the organizer to conduct the event in a effective manner suppose there there must be a 200 meter event instead of taking the athlete to the inside of the track we can take athlete outside the track to the starting line from the call room it is possible so we won't disturb any event which progress inside the stadium without disturbing that we can keep the athlete uh, for the next event on outer side of the track okay right then next how to calculate the total length and the total breadth of the 400 meter track how to calculate total length and the total width of the 400 meter track okay so you can imagine this is a 8 or 9 or 10 lane track now we can take example as a 8 lane track so this is what we need to measure the overall length this is what we need to mention the overall length of the track overall length of the track okay so how this overall length may be calculated we already studied in our um, uh, degree even though i would like to recall those things now the overall length of the track calculated with the help of the length of the stride 2 into 
curb lion radius we used to call it is a cedia but it should not be like that hereafter we can change cdr to clr cdr to clr construction lion radius or curb lion radius and plus 2 into the width of 8 lane with also constant with also constant the width of the lane must be 1.22 when i was did my master degree during 2000 where i learned the length of the sorry the width of the lane 1.21 meter to 1.25 meter 1.21 meter to 1.25 meter now it is fixed it is 1.22 meter exactly so plus or minus 0.01 is there for a deviations after laying it may be accepted but while laying it must be 1.22 meter plus obstacle free zone so 1 meter this side and 1 meter this side so now you are going to see the length of the stride yes this is called as a length of the stride just imagine it's a parallel line drawn at the center of the rectangular area that's all okay this is 84.39 meter next we need to measure the klr on both the sides so here it is a klr on the same way it is klr on the other side so 2 into klr klr is nothing but for a 400 meter standard track it 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 must be 36.50 meter then next lane width so lane width is 1.22 there are eight lane on this side and eight lane on that side okay so the total length of the eight lane total width of the eight lane total width of the eight lane 9.76 into 2 because it is on two sides then finally we need to include the obstacle free zone here i took only 1 meter as obstacle free zone or rather you can also use more than 1 or 2 3 4 5 5 whatever it is available so 1 meter here and 1 meter here and the total length of the track see the obstacle free zone now overall length as a the length of the to lay out the fondam to track 178 so we can take it as a 180 roughly and i used to say 200 so for for the you know recalling purpose for the memory purpose i used to say whenever if anyone ask me sir how much area is required to construct a 400 meter track i roughly said it is required for 200 by 100 if you have a area 200 by 100 then it is easy to draw or lay out a yeah, 400 meter standard track so this was the exact 178.91 so the tot the the length of the 400 meter standard track to lay out the length, uh, to lay out the 400 meter standard track the total length is required 178.91 meter now the breadth so we measured the length the same way we are going to measure the breadth so only measurement we have to excluded from the total length is the length of the straight that's all see this is 2 cr see in the formula 2 klr or clr klr c is it is a known measurement why i am taking this is is a known measurement okay clr and one more clr on this side it is nothing but you know diameter diameter of the circle or two radius 73 meter right then as usual eight lane this side and eight lane that side so total 73 meter the next lane width eight lane 9.76 and 8 lane 9.76 then multiplied by 2 because it is on both the sides next as usual the after obstacle free zone on the top and the bottom 
So it is one plus one, two meter. Okay, so this is called as an obstacle free zone and the total width required to construct the 400 meter standard track is 94.52. That's why I roughly said it is 100. So if, if you have a facilities or area with uh, 200 by 100, then you can easily mark the 400 meter track. So 178.91, 94.52. So it is, uh, it is very tough to um, memorize this measurement. Instead of that, I try to use 200 by 100, 200 by 100. Then I said KLR, CLR, curb line radius, construction line radius, curb line radius, construction line radius, and RLR, RLR, running line. This is in a running distance radius, RDR. Instead of RDR, you have to use RLR, RLR. Okay. So how to calculate this? KLR and CLR first. So the length of the strike for the 400 meter standard track, 84.39, no change at all. So two strike, here one strike and here one, two equal strike, the total length 168.78, okay. So, if the straight 168.78, then remaining is curve, bend. First bend or a first bend and second bend. Okay, first bend and second bend. We have to add the first and second bend, which is 231.22 meter because 400 minus 168.78, it gives 231. So the circumference of the two bend, circumference of the two bend, 32.31.2. So this is one band circumference and the other band circumferences totally 231. So what is the distance of one band circumference is nothing but 115.61. Add Pani Paranga 115.61 plus 84.39. 200. It comes 200. Okay. So 200 plus 200, 400. So now we are going to find out the KLR or CLR. So I am removing the straight, this circle, and I am taking this circle. Here, semicircle. Here, semicircle. Two semicircles join together, and it forms, and it looks like a circle. Okay. When we know the circumference of the circle, it is easy to find out the radius of the circle. So this is the area and this is called as a circumference. See, this line shows the circumference. The circumference of the circle, 231.22 meter. Then we need to find out the radius. What is the formula for radius? So circumference C is equal to 2 by R. C is equal to 2 by R. Then R, how much? R is equal to C divided by, by R, 2 by. C divided by 2 by. So in the formula, we are substituting 2 by. Dear participants, don't put the value 22 by 7. 22 pulli yelingaradu approximative Approximate value of by approximative value of by. Don't put it. So instead of that, you can use whenever you can go for a calculation, use 3.1416. By your value, Vedic method learning a path in a three capro or 27 values were three capro. You know, only four values are given here, but there are 27 values are there. Instead of putting all the values, here I took only, not I, it was recommended by World Athletics, 3.1416. So the total circumference is equal to 231. Now, as per the mathematical, 
now it is easy for us to find out r when you r find out pannamna automatically these two values are go on other side in the division method other side okay so r is equal to 23122 divided by 6.2 finally the klr sorry r l r running distance if a track 400 meter length with a length of straight 84.39 the total length of the two bend 231.22 then the radius of that circle 36.79 it is converted into 36.80 which is called as a rlr previously it was called rdr running lion radius so how can we calculate the clr or klr from rlr so this is the formula clr or klr is equal to rlr minus 0.30 meter or 30 cm as we know that when we have a inner raised border if we are asked to run near to the inner raised border naturally the athlete run 30 cm away from the inner raised border so that the 30 cm was reduced from the rlr finally the distance of klr or clr is equal to 36.50 okay so this is construction line radius which is 30 cm um from the uh, reduced 30 cm from the rlr so rlr is here if we ask to run the athlete the athlete will run 30 cm away from the inside raised border this 30 cm distance was reduced in rlr finally we got the clr which is 36.50 meter okay and so dear participants we used to call curve don't use the word curve which was not present in marking facilities manual where they used mention first bend second bend back stride home stride these are the terms they were used in the track and field facilities manual so instead of calling first curve and second curve you can call like first bend second bend home stride and back stride okay then how the width of the lane is measured how the width of the lane is measured so this is the running direction athletes are running from here to here so this is the running direction so in run in in each lane we have two line on either side okay either side we have a line in each lane the each line has 5 cm width so this inner line also 5 cm width and the outer line is also 5 cm so how we can measure the 1.22 which 5 cm included in the lane width which 5 is not included in the lane width so very clearly given the pictorial representation of 1.22 meter for lane 1 so it starts from the outer edge of the inner line to the outer edge of the the outer line this is i am running this direction please imagine i am my running direction is like that this is finish line so this is lane 1 lane width this that's why we said if it if we if you touch if you touch if we place our foot on this line if we place the foot on this line automatically 
we will be disqualified. If this is, comes under lane infringement. The new rule, new rule, first time, the athlete will not be disqualified. If it is a second occurrence for him, if it is a second occurrence for him, either this event or next event, he or she will be disqualified by the rule lane infringement. So, very careful. This 5 centimeter is not included in the lane width. That's why the officials are very serious about when the runner run his allotted lane for the corresponding event, the runner should not place any of their body parts on the inner lion because the inner lion not included in the lane width. That is the reason they were comes under the lane infringement law. Okay. Right. And this is this is the way we knew to measure the lane width. And here you are seeing the dot. So the, the finish line where you are seeing the dot. See a yeah, specific block measurement is there. 5 into 2 centimeter, 5 into 2 centimeter in each lane to assist, to assist, to assist the photo finish camera, to assist the photo finish camera to divide the lane, they divide the lane. They were using this block marking on the intersection of the lane and the finishing line. Okay. So this is the running direction. Now, with this preliminary idea, we need to go for digital lane. Okay, digital, how we can mark. Okay, so the first process to identify the area. The first process to identify the area. All right. Okay. So for which, for which I can use, there are a, two softwares here. This is Google Earth. This is Google Earth. One minute, please. Okay. So this is the web version of the Google Earth. Web version of the Google Earth. Web version of the Google Earth. You are seeing the web version of the Google Earth. Okay. This is web version. You need not install anything. You can just type earth.google.com. Earth.google.com. It comes like this. Once you type earth.google.com, web-based versions, you need a network connectivity. Once you type, it will take some time to loading. After loading, your screen looks like this. Your screen looks like this. So your screen looks like this. Now you can see the brightest area where the sunlights are available. You can, you can see eagle view through eagle view of the globe. And if you doesn't know the area or where to search, how to go through it, instead of scrolling, scroll down like this, no, instead of rolling like this, you just type in the search box, Manon Maniam Sundaranar University. It is my place. It is my place. Please listen very carefully. I am taking the web version of the Google Earth Pro. So even you can use this in your mobile browser. Once you type the website earth.google.com, you will be directed like this window. 
in the search box you see here in the search box you can play type the area where you are i am in manonmaniyam sundaranar university i am just typing manonmaniyam sundaranar university once i click that manonmaniyam sundaranar university i will be directed to manonmaniyam sundaranar university campus in a aerial view so this is the campus of manonmaniyam sundaranar university different buildings are there and you are also witnessing the 400 meter layout of the department of physical education this is the department of physical education this is admin building an auditorium quarters hostel vc quarters guest house okay here i am moving to the area where i want to have a marking so already we did this in our department we have a 400 meter standard track okay dear friends this is a look right now what you are seeing the image which may be captured in the recent days suppose if you want to see the same 5 years back 10 years back 20 years back how this place was it's also possible in google earth pro okay okay now i move on to the desktop version of the google earth desktop version which you are seeing you can just download it open source software open source software see in the browser go to google type google earth google earth pro downloaded okay see the earth version google click and this is google earth pro on desktop this is google earth on mobile this is google earth on web so there are three versions are available mobile version web version and desktop version all are freely accessible so click this google earth pro then the application will be downloaded in your system in your pc and then you can install it after installing your screen looks like this your screen looks like this your screen looks like this again you can roll down roll up by using the mouse roller just roll forward and roll backward to minimize and maximize to minimize and maximize to minimize and maximize see the dark and bright area if you want to see the sunlight where the sunlight and you can see there the it's dark dark mentioning they are at the night so country like this in india in half of the south africa and the saudi arabia where now it is day time it is day time and see this is all night time this is all night time america canada all under the night time okay so you can see the sunlight position also by using this right so in the in the, in the image it looks like india here if you have a knowledge on or if you have a intelligence of spatial intelligence then automatically you can locate where you are where you want to go like that so it, this is an india map where we need to go tamil nadu okay so if you roll down the mouse then zoom out 
zoom in zoom in uh, if you are rolling the mouse forward it is zoom in rolling the mouse backward it is zoom out or use the slider here use the slider here at the right side use the slider plus zoom in minus zoom out okay so here direction he can rotate he can rotate at any direction he can rotate this is this is he can rotate okay rotate right now again i want to go manonmaniya sundaranar university i am using the search box here manonmaniyam it's a peculiar name so manon maniyam sundaranar university once i type it is a norm uh, based on the a artificial intelligence we will get the number of options for the, our search so manon maniyam sundaranar university i just click it and then i press the button search automatically it goes to the manon maniyam sundaranar university yes manon maniyam sundarana university is taken now without without any click on the mouse the google earth pro takes us to the manon maniyam sundarana university play field even uh, gentleman if you are sending your location through whatsapp you are sharing your location through whatsapp even from here i am able to say whether your area is sufficient to mark 400 meter or not na ya veetla ukkandukitte ninga unga location ninga endha edathila ground podrunu nenikireengalo andha edathila poi indukittu whatsapp la share location kuduthinga na podum ninga andha edathila 400 meter track varaya mudiyuma mudiyada angiradha na inge ukkandukitte chu by using this technology that's all by using this technology okay so now i am uh, moving manon maniyam sundara university i am moving to so already we have a four dimensional track now we can measure um uh, dear participants from the chart box get ready on your chart box what is the minimum length required to construct a four dimensional track please type i need the input from you so participants kindly as we discussed the earlier in the powerpoint presentation i am going to make ah good gobi sir very good 200 by 100 very good sir 200 by 100 okay so if it is a 200 by 100 what is the total circumference area required what is the total area required 200 on two sides 200 plus 200 400 and with 100 plus 100 so how much total ah uh, yeah area is okay i said i i need to know the measurement circumference circumference how much circumference is required so just to calculate add 200 plus 100 see this is just you can see this is 100 with and this is 200 and this is 100 and this is 200 how much we need a perimeter yeah saraboji sir is assisting me the perimeter 600 meter super super now we are going to measure whether the 200 meter is with us or not okay so here in the menu tab you see the ruler menu tab you see the ruler yes take that and keep it this side okay keep it this side so now i am going to check the existing area i am clicking the four corners so already somewhere it was clicked so i am taking that one to the area where we need okay so this is the first one and the next one 
so i will reset again okay so this is first and this is okay how much we need it is 105 see here this is 105 we need 100 okay so just take it that and the on the perimeter first we measured the width then length next and next see this is the area this is the area we measured okay sorry so the total six not meter it comes so maybe the rectangular yeah that here you can adjust by pressing that point wherever you want you can just adjust it adjust it you can adjust it okay you can adjust it so if it is not look like a rectangle you can make it like this you can make a epaka rectangle. Epaka rectangle. Okay. So we can see the measurement. We can see the measurement here. Whether the area is sufficient or not. Okay. This is which is already available with us. Now I am going to check the area because here our integrated building, it's a library. So we have a space here. So our higher authority asked me whether we, we can go for construction of 400 meter track. Okay, find the places. So I am checking here whether it is available or not. So I am take the four dot, see the four dot. How much the length? 171. It looks like 171. It looks like 171. Okay. It looks like one, the length 171. 171. So we need a 200. So uh, still we have a space here. Still we have a space here. Still, we have a space here. So, without disturbing the road, without disturbing the road, without disturbing any other building, you can check, you can check whether it is 200, this side okay, or this side okay, or this side okay. Suppose if you move this side, it will disturb the existing building, permanent building. Okay, we can't do that. So, whether we can keep like this. Yes, it is 146 only. It is not possible. Now, you can move. It is 151 only. It's even it's not possible. So now we can move 161. Now you can move 181. Okay, this is the way. 200 now it is available. 200 is available now. Then again, we can go for the width. So width is 100. So 200, next we can go with the width. Total 300 we require. Yeah. Yes, it is available. 200 and this is 100. And next, we'll make it. Okay. You can drag, you can drag any points like this. You can drag any point like this. Okay, you can drag any point like this. First time I put the dot in somewhere else. That is why I am making the line again and again. Okay. So now almost 632 meters, the perimeter is available. For us, we need only 600 meter as a perimeter to lay out the 400 meter standard track. So this is the area. Okay, it is more convenient for us. Without disturbing any existing building, without disturbing any other permanent fixes, 
this area may be taken the next question you can ask sir whether the direction is okay um dear participants in the track and field facilities manual there was no specific direction is mentioned you can have your track in any direction even east west north south north east south west north west south east in any direction you can keep the four meter track it doesn't matter according to the climatic condition of that area the direction of the track may be fixed according to the climatic condition of the area the direction of the track may be fixed by the local people for your information the track which is constructed which is uh, going right now the construction is going right now at sports university chennai is in north uh, east west direction only is in east west direction only a 400 meter synthetic track which is laying at tamil nadu physical education sports university chennai in the direction of north east, sorry east and west so there is no question of north south or north west south east ipdi da irukana abdingirathu idilla kedaiyathu very clearly the guidelines is given in that facilities manual according to the climatic conditions the track may be in any direction and they also particularly mention most of the successful stadium are built in east west direction most of the successful stadium are built in east west direction east west direction okay uh like the same thing in hockey or a football whatever it is the same thing sir uh, you can check the perimeter whether you know with the help of the the software we can check the area is available now once the area is finalized you take the screenshot of this image and hand it over to your engineer then from the engineer you can ask kindly level the field as per the measurements given to you you can share the same to your head of the department or you can share the same images to the vendors so we can clear it and as one of the participant asked how to mark hockey play field so very easy the same thing so check the one area and check the other area so this is the other area okay the here the length is 164 it is going and this is 106 as you suggested 90 100 yards 91 yeah and with the free space i always you can use 100 yes and then take the width it is around 50 okay and again you can take so i will maximize it now you can take it and check whether the area is available or that's all sir i am not knowing the exact measurement how much it is required to construct a track so i am working in a institution where our management was not interested so much but they are given me a chance to lay out a 400 meter track without disturbing anything okay in such conditions sila edathla vande irukkira edathla neenga edhaaju pannunga abidinga in some management or institution they said uh, as a physical education professional we are uh, please you can plan an international stadium but today it is not possible to construct but you can plan it may be expanded as a international stadium in the future for plan future la nama maathra mari 
இருக்கணும் ஆனா அதுக்கு தகுந்த மாதிரி இப்ப லே அவுட் பண்ணுங்க அப்படின்னு சொல்றாங்க அப்படின்னா நீங்க என்ன பண்றீங்க வாட் யூ கேன் டூ சப்போஸ் யூ ஒரு மேனேஜ்மெண்ட் எக்ஸ்பெக்ட் டு லே ஏ இன்டர்நேஷனல் ஸ்டாண்டர்டு அத்லட்டிக் ஸ்டேடியம் பட் ப்ரெசன்ட்லி யூ கேன் ஸ்டார்ட் வித் பட் ட்ராக் தென் லேட்டர் ஆன் வி கேன் கன்வெர்ட் இட் இன்டு ஏ சிந்தட்டிக் வித் கேலரி ஃபெசிலிட்டிஸ் பட் யுவர் பிளான் மஸ்ட் பி அக்கார்டிங்லி ஸோ திஸ் இஸ் வாட் தி மேனேஜ்மெண்ட் எக்ஸ்பெக்ட் ஃப்ரம் அஸ் இன் சச் கண்டிஷன் வாட் வி கேன் டூ இன் சச் கண்டிஷன் வாட் வி கேன் டூ ஓகே ஓகே ஸோ ஐ டோன்ட் ஹாவ் எனி ஐடியா ஆஃப் தி இன்டர்நேஷ்னல் ஸ்டாண்டர்ட் ஸோ ஹவ் ஐ கேன் கெட் த இன்ஃபர்மேஷன் வெரி சிம்பிள் நீ நாட் ஒரி ஸோ யூ கேன் கோ டு த ஸ்டாண்டர்டு ஸ்டேடியம் யூ கேன் கோ டு த ஸ்டாண்டர்டு ஸ்டேடியம் நவ் ஐ ஆம் மூவிங் டு தி ஜவஹர்லால் நேரு ஸ்டேடியம் சென்னை So the same graph, I am moving to the JN Stadium, Chennai. I am putting into the search box. So now my Google takes me to the Jawaharlal Nehru Stadium, Chennai. See how easy. It took more than a day to travel or sometimes minimum one hour to three hours to travel from Thirunal Valley to Chennai, even by using the flight. But here within a fraction of seconds, I, am, I was taken to the Jawaharlal Nehru Stadium, Chennai. See, this is the structure of the Jawaharlal Nehru Stadium, Chennai. As expected by your management, one day, we may extend this into an international standard so your plan must be like that you can prepare you can present a proposal to build a gallery facilities along with your 400 meter standard track then very simple you can go and same way this is a stadium you can see how much facilities are required how much facilities are required see this, these are all the facilities and see here the additional facilities and see that side see indoor stadium volleyball indoor stadium see here the uh, b track that is called as a, a track this is an b track so here you you see without gallery here you are seeing the with gallery a, a, a jan stadium okay so very simple you take the ruler here measure the length measure the length okay from here to here right then here and then here okay now you can check almost 1000 meters perimeter 1000 perimeters it is required almost 1000 perimeters it is required i know that yeah now you can adjust now you can adjust the four dot individually and adjust the four dot individually yes so 994 almost 1000 perimeter is required the rectangle the rectangle the perimeter of the rectangle almost 1000 so now you have some idea okay to construct an international stadium with the gallery facilities inside 400 meter standard track and as well as suppose in the future if you extended for a warm up track how much facilities we required you get a knowledge very easily by using this and here the same thing may be shared through the same thing may be shared 
Okay. Then other one. Right. Um, I will explain the second one. Direct in Google Map. This is Google Earth Pro. One more is a Google Map. I will explain next. Right. Now, see. Now I am moving to already I pinned my location here. So just I am clicking MSC Sports automatically. The Google Earth Pro takes me to the Manonmani Sundaranar University facilities. So here you are seeing this is. So my expectation here, I want to build a 400 meter standard track like this. So this is a, you just fix a image like this. Here in the menu, you can also add images. See, add images. The area where you need to lay out the 400 meter standard track to be overlay with a picture of a 400 meter standard track, then the management will appreciate you. The authority will appreciate you, the effort you taken. Such a way I prepared my plan. So what all, what all other sports, what other sports may be planned here in this area. So here I can have a space for hockey. I can have a space for hockey. Even I can use this space, see, even I can use this face for cricket B ground or multi-purpose. I can use it for tennis, volleyball, five-a-side football, handball. And this area, I also plan for other sports. So I prepared, suppose here I want to fix the other court, tennis court, ball badminton court, hockey field. If I want to add it, I can add it. Just insert from here. Now the image is there. Just insert the image. Okay. Just insert the image. Click. It will ask the image. For your knowledge, I am just uh, add some image here. So this is the image. I would like to add it. Here the image comes. You can minimize. See the image there minimized. Yeah. So suppose it may be a hockey field. I will place it here. This is a hockey field. So just to place it here. Centrally, there was a plus sign. You can move it is move it is wherever you want. You can move it is. So it may be a hockey field. I can place it like this. Okay, right. This is all hockey field. So you can draw a aerial picture or design your play field of the area which are available right now in your institution. It may be a future plan sometimes. You can submit the report to your management. Definitely the management will appreciate and sanction whatever you required. At least they will appreciate your effort of your future vision of the department, how the institution should be in the future. So it also gives a good marks, remarks from the institutions. Okay, so you can plan accordingly, right? And I said one more information. Um, right. So this picture shows the position, the, the image right now. I said, you want to know the same place 10 years before. Because 10 years before the entire area completely filled up with the uh, no, thorn trees. You see, so this is a timeline. You just move, just move back. So it was 2011, 2011, it was constructed on 2009. The uh, 4MD track of Manonmani Sundaranar University was constructed on 2009. This is a 2010 pictures. See, there was no indoor. There was no indoor, only the department building and the 400 meter standard track. Latest 
image you will see there are two more buildings here one indoor for one multipurpose center and one training centers but to, to 2010 it was not there so 2009 i will take 2003 see 2003 nothing was there in the same place only trees are there only trees are there see the physical education department marked the university stadium is marked here but nothing was there i am moving forward moving forward 2009 so now moving to 2010 just yes, you can move month by month by using this okay 10 13 no 18 you are seeing there are two more buildings so even you can also see the timeline of your places where you are marking and to the present and to the present okay and to the present right and this is a google earth version it's a google desktop person moving to the google moving to the google web version this is google web version the same thing without uh, uh, downloading anything on your desktop just you can use this area they say the playfield is available here to so take it and here there are ruler is available use the ruler use the ruler and mark it the same way see the measurement it comes 118 or 100 or how much you want you can measure it measure it same okay yes 100 and again you can move 300 because you need a perimeter of 200 and 300 and 400 you need a 400 then 400 okay 400 yes 400 now you make it as a 600 so this is the area just you can give this rectangle share it share the image see here copy or copy just you can share the image to your engineer or take the screenshot of this image and share it to your institutions or mark if it is a important area you can mark it place your place play Place uh, now the pin, some pin. Create project in Google Drive or create, no. Okay, this can be done by help of the web version of Google here. And the last one, through Google Map, through Google Map. So here, it's a Google Map www.google.com map that's all google you can type google map so again in the search box you can use manon mani yam sundaranar university manon mani yam sundaranar university and then naturally it will take to the manon mani sundaranar university this is google map okay use it go here right click at the end right click at the bottom you can see measure distance measure distance yeah from here yes measure so you can adjust how much you want okay one two three and four if it is not a rectangle adjust the rectangle right that's all So that's all. You can share, you can forward, take the screenshot. You can have a measurements here. See the measurements. Total area, total distance, which are available. You can measure. So dear friends, professional friends, whenever you go for laying the any play field, first you can check the area 
without disturbing any permanent fixtures of the institutions check and then you can recommend to the authorities for the further process okay so here you know this is the google map <clears throat> direction is given for the world championship race walking and marathon see <clears throat> how the marathon course it is a 14 kilometer race course so you are witnessing here now it is a 14 kilometer the line see it is started near to the stadium this is a stadium i hope it's a softball or a baseball stadium the american football stadium from the in front of the stadium the simple star, see the color star, start and finish, race walk, race walk course, and marathon course, this is a green here, this is a start, and finish here. For both the event, finish at same place, but starting for the race walk here, and starting for the marathon here, for the world championship, 2022, which will be held at America, University of Oregon. So the Google map travel path was prepared with the help of Google map. So the runner need to run like this. This is the direction and they here. They join in one place, zoom it. There are a four way. Okay. So the runner run on the other lane and run on the, the other lane now very adjacent but it will not disturb them and you can if, if you travel there was a no river there was a river so on the bank of the river the athletes are running towards see here now the athlete goes this way and come and after crossing the river there was a roundana where they take again back and this is the route and finally they will reach the stadium by covering 14 kilometers at a stretch in a single loop. A single loop, 14 meter. He, he, see here, a marathon course, 3 into 14 meter. So 42. 42. 1.95, no? They will adjust. That's why they will have a different um, starting and finishing line. So 3 into 14, 42 kilometers and race walk one. Um, the race walk course is 1 kilometer only. Race walk courses is 1 kilometer only. This is the race walk course. Only they need to come like this. Marathon, they need to go 14 kilometer. But race walk, see, this is a loop. It's look like a loop. One kilometer loop. Okay. And where the refreshment station is available, where the help station is available, where the medical station is available, it was listed. So suppose if you are organizing any marathon courses, if you were um, project Maybe like this, it is very easy for the athlete, their guidance. Otherwise, you know, we used to take the athletes before commencement of the event to show the route, how we are, how and where we have to run. Instead of that, you can use this Google map assistance to design your marathon or long distance event course, which may be conducted on the road, on the road. Either if it is a race walk, or a marathon. And now you are going to see the 3D view of the World Championship Stadium, Oregon. So we can have a tour from here. We can see. So this was a fantastic stadium. And myself and Dr. A. Saraboji also booked a ticket, gallery ticket. So our gallery ticket is here the starting point back to the 100 meter starting point we were booked our ticket to witness directly the world championship at a usa but unfortunately we were not given a visa due to the covid conditions so we were purchased purchased the ticket see every session we need to purchase there are 10 days 10 days 20 sessions are there so morning session only we purchased the tickets at the cost of around $100 and above, $100 and above. 
for two or three session we spend more than a lakh to watch the world athletic championship at oregon but unfortunately we are unable to get the visa so just now, just recently only we try to uh, transfer our ticket to some other persons okay so the ticket at the 100 meter finishing line now in this area gallery now i am seeing right now it is the cost of 2200 dollars 2200 american dollars imagine how much it will cost for the indian money almost about 2 lakhs almost about 2 lakhs for witnessing the event so this area cost more this is called as a now marketing in sports industry they started the selling of ticket one year before imagine we were spend 1 lakh if you go with you know if you took the interest of that 1 lakh how much it will be so it's all you know uh, um, planned by we organizers so and we move on to the stadium right now see see the stadium where you can is it possible to conduct any football match here see no it's not possible and i said stable chase i said stable chase please dear participants see the stable chase just on the corner edge of the second bend the stable chase water jump where please only the length of the state is also very very minimum when compared to the other stadium and see see usually we have a the long jump and triple jump outside the track but in oregon it is inside inside long jump and triple jump inside and see the pole vault inside and see here a combined facilities for disc and hammer throw a combined facilities for disc and hammer throw see i said safety cage we need a safety cage so this a circle the circle may be used both for hammer as well as disc <clears throat> here we can use the you know the radius uh, reduce but okay, we can use some portable material here so this is a 3d view of the oregon stadi 100 meter starting line you just click 100 meter starting line you will be taken into the 100 meter starting line so this is what 100 meter starting line if you want you can see the 100 meter starting line rotate like anything okay so this is 100 meter starting line point this is the gallery structure and finishing line we move on to the finishing line and usually we have a some marking here the finish line indicator but here it was not given i don't know why i will ask saraboji sir for the reason so almost all the track we have a lane number and followed by a line which is drawn 1 meter behind the finish line and also i said 2 cm maybe uh, in the intersection of the Uh, this finishing line and the lane line but it is 5 cm sarabo ji sir if you are also you are also attending and uh, i need clarification on this area and see other facilities you can also visit the other facilities now we will move on to the aerial view of the hayward field stadium so this is the aerial view of the hayward field stadium which is located in the university of oregon which is located in the university of oregon this is 200 meter starting line so i said the inge parunga disc and hammer inge vechirukanga parunga nam usually in, in the circle la dana irukum inge inge or semi circle vechirupom alladhu inda side or semi circle vechirupom inge apdi vekkala so see the short put short put okay and javelin throw parunga at the center javelin throw and see the high jump high jump facilities 
to high jump facilities, to horizontal some facilities, to full vault facilities, to shot put, and one combined for disc and hammer throw. So disc hammer throw poem bodhala ye poho. See um, hammer la it goes you know apipri poho. The sector padina the poho. Another I said this track exclusively made for conducting track and field, not for any other interior inside games any other games inside this play field area so this is what about the world athletics oregon 22 facilities so i will share this a link to the organizers you can also get it from them okay uh, if you have any doubt still you can ask if you have any doubt still you can ask uh, otherwise uh, the 10 minutes time i will try to move on Move on to the the one more online software we can use for conducting the tournament. And dear participants, uh, this is a website challenge.com. This is a website challenge.com. We have beautiful website. It is available both free and uh, Premium version. Even free, you can enter up to 200 teams. Very simple. So I will show already I have created a tournament. In our university, we have conducted a badminton tournament. So the badminton tournament entries are taken. The name of the tournament, MSU badminton tournament. Very simple, you can create. Very simple, you can create and float this link to everyone, they can register through this website and you will get the entry. Suppose if you want to have entry fee, entry fee for the tournament, you can collect through digital method. You need not ask the team to pay on the spot. If the team, those who are entered digitally, then automatically their team included in your tournament. See, hereafter, the physical education teachers must have a self-sustainability financial plan for their department. So try to organize a number of events by fixing the uh, minimum registration fee. Okay, so this is, and if I want to see the bracket, I just click the bracket and this is this is bracket. See, it will be done by the computer who will play against whom? So management department will play against marine science and they played and they move on to the next round like that, okay? So from here, the marine science won the match and move on to the sociology department. Now, from here, you see just, you can, um, enter the result automatically, the winner team move on to here. And it, it may be visible to everyone. The audience, the participants, they can see the results of all the matches. Even they can also see if you are providing a live. Suppose if you are providing a live, the link to be attached is this website. So if the participant audience want to see that live, they can do it. So a model bracket, see here, automatically up to the final, we will get it. See, yeah. See, the single elimination knockout tournament fixer. Even you have a round robin, double elimination, all format of Tournaments are available in this website. Okay, so standings. Suppose if you want to see the team standing. So win, 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 lose the result. It's also visible to everyone. They can also see an announcement. Suppose if anything you want to communicate to the participant, just you can type the message here. Report, report at right time okay at, at right time just you can now 
automatically this message will reach to everyone this message will reach to everyone and you can log how what are all the actions you have taken one by one you can see from here and this is a station station is nothing but grounds station nothing but grounds okay and q q is nothing but who the next match the time table for the next match at which ground ground 1 who is going to play against to whom and ground 2 who is play against to whom so the details will be available in the queue and this is the participant tab where you need you can add manually or you can get entry through online both mode is available even you can delete a team add a team right so you can enter in the tournament into manual or through website through online okay so this is the settings where you can do all the preliminary settings of the tournament after that then you can't change it anything so i am moving to create a new tournament so creating a tournament tournament or race okay so tournament the host name of the tournament msu football tournaments i will give the time 2022 okay so next so here you are seeing the this is the link see challenge.com and this is the link exclusively created for this tournament if you share this link to the audience and others and automatically they can also see all the details of your tournament then about the tournament if you give any description you can include here you can include here and next then game football so some default structure of the games are available already in this website football yes so it is it shows uh, american football so we can change it to soccer okay soccer the image may be used the image may be used at the top okay this is a soccer tournament then single stage or two stage see here see if it is a two stage groups compete separately winners proceed to final stage like you know ipl or world cup the initially the teams were divided into six or four groups and after the group competition over the winner and runner of the each group will be taken to the next level if it is a two two stage tournament you can check the two stage or single stage then format single stage single elimination double elimination round robin swiss then free and leader board these are all the tournaments different types of format of tournament so you can check the single elimination then see one more options are available here include a match for third place if it is required check the box otherwise leave it and provide a list of participants or host a if you check this you need to enter the participant or team list manually if you check this then they teams they can register themselves the 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 link publicly visible to everyone once they click the link they can enter the name of the team and players into your tournament and it will be notified you through mail once you accept the team automatically it will also notified them through email okay then next the type of tournament free or paid then require participant to register as a team or specify maximum number of participants available team ka allowed it. how many members of the team how many teams to be allowed what is the start time okay when you are opening that is you know uh, the you know the registration start timing if you not mentioned anything leave it and enable voting for open matches this is nothing but you know before commencement of the match the voters will register their 
uh, votes to the team's concern and this team will win and you will get the percentage of possibility of win by each team. Then enable bracket predictions and other facilities are available here. Whatever you need for your tournament, you can check and you can even also check the advanced options. Okay, advanced option, check, bracket, permissions, notifications, then miscellaneous. So whichever is applicable related to the tournament, you can check it. Once you check it, then finally you can click save and continue. So just I can click mock as a tentative, then I will check, save and continue. Now a new tournament were created. See, MSU football tournament, it's a mistake. MSC football tournament 2022. So now here in the settings already we have done. And once we enter the list of participants, naturally we will get the bracket over there. So here, suppose team one SRM, right, add. And team two. MSU add. Okay, once you add the team, automatically if you go to the bracket where you can see the see SRM versus MSU because only two teams are available. So directly it is final. So you need not worry about drawing the fixes. You need not worry about drawing the fixes, whether uh, how many boys to be given, how many rounds to be decided. It is automatically decided by the software itself. Okay. So I hope I have highlighted something to you regarding the digital layout and the marking of play field and conducting the tournament with the support of uh, software. So like this, there are a number of web applications, softwares are available to run the day-to-day -day activities of Department of Physical Education. Dear uh, distinguished participants, once again, I request to you all that we can do wonder if you believe on you. We can do wonder if you believe on you. Okay. Uh, many people, they used to ask what physical education teachers are doing in their department. They have only sports. They are only preparing the sports, nothing else. So they always spend time at the ground. Apart from that, they have no business at all. So I strongly object that uh, notions from many people. I used to share many things that we can do wonders with the help of technology right now. The sports industry is the biggest industry today. So you take the esports. Esports is a very big industry to, today earning much more money comparatively the other regular sports esports la nikku vandu betting prize money la vandu pathinga normal sports oda taandi poyittu so many many industries are coming towards sports industry for the business purposes so we people we people we need to use the technology for our day to day activity here uh, moments are uh, provided me a wonderful opportunity to share only two softwares here, one for the marking purpose, one for conducting tournaments. So like this, I have a number of um, applications, web-based or uh, software-based applications to run the day-to-day -day activities of physical education department, even for coaching, even for training, selecting the players, or the exercise, if you want to, if suppose if you doesn't know the, any exercises, you can also select the exercises from the applications which are available and the information of matches, the information on uh, the tournament results, information of the associations. So all our duties, all our duties, including suppose if you want to give exercise for the uh, diabetes, exercise for belly, exercise for low back pain. So for all our um, day-to-day -day necessities may be fulfilled with the support of software. So try to use the software for your day-to-day -day activities. With this, uh, I would like to thank uh, Mohan sir uh, for having confidence on me 
and he given a beautiful opportunity to present my technological concept into the one week ftp program thank you sir thank you so much and i also thank the organizing secretary rajkumar sir and all other faculty members of srm um, and also thank the management for engaging the department of physical education to conduct i know the srm is doing wonderfully well in sports and competitions now they are taking lead almost in southern part of tamil the southern part of our nations in maximum sports they are competing one of the tough competitor in the inter university tournament and this is the first time i am experiencing that they also turn towards the, the academic side academic forum of the department of physical education we welcome and uh, we appreciate your effort and uh, we request to try to conduct uh, many more program like this in the future year so that the srm um, institute department of physical education may be balanced on the two eyes i used to say one is the physical education one is sports so sports already you have done very uh, uh, significant things and the physical education you started right now i hope in the future definitely you will do many more program like this uh, with this once again i thank you all and i thank you all the participants for your patience listening thank you sir thank you so much uh, thank you dr sedu i think it's a very big session and you have cleared plenty of doubts for the younger generation they were so curious to hear you for the past two hours even i have enlightened your knowledge through your session thank you i think we can share your email for a further discussion with the participants with sure. your permission sure sure, sure 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 yeah thank you thank you dr sedu i wish all the formal word of thanks now i like to thank dr albert chandrashekar for welcoming the gathering i like to thank dr vasudev raj for sharing as the values of sports in his inaugural address i like to thank dr sedu the most innovative physical education leader who is going to take future physical education to a greater heights thank you dr sedu thank you sir i thank all the participants for your patience here you god bless you all we all see in the second session that is afternoon session by 2 pm take care bye bye till 2 pm thank you thank you thank you sir sir thank you so much thank you sir thank you ma'am sir uh okay thank you uh, we shall start the fifth day afternoon session uh may I request dr albert hod department of physical education and sports sciences to give the welcome address mic on mante pesing albert thank you sir dr jesus rajkumar sir organizing secretary Uh, our beloved director uh, dr mohan krishnan uh, head of the, uh, director sports srm mist welcome you sir uh, it is immense pleasure and warm welcome to dr m murugan principal srm valliyamai college college katangalathur i accepted invitation for faculty development in a program inaugural function the valuable time join with us uh, once again i welcome you sir uh, i would like to warm welcome to resource person the great speaker uh, dr j mohan krishnan physiotherapist uh, department of uh, physiotherapy and in neurosurgery zimmer uh, it is a great topic uh, today uh, fifth day afternoon section the basic basic of injury and management for the sports it is uh, knowledgeable uh, valuable for the speech 
uh, you join with us. Once again, I welcome to sir, our faculty members and the uh, co-organizer, Dr. Sendil HOD Yoga Department, Dr. Louis sir, Dr. Aza Talikan, and coordinator for Dr. Suresh and Dr. Jubilate ma'am, uh, full-time PhD scholars and, and uh, uh, staff members. It, it is various university faculty members, coaches, directors, trainers, it's a valuable time for the uh, FD, FDP program. Join with us once again and welcome you all. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Albert, for welcoming the gathering. By request, Dr. Morgan, Principal, Pandemic College of Engineering, to give the inaugural address. Sir, please. Mohan sir, one tongue la, Murugan sir, principal. Sir, sir, line sir, can I? Sharing, sharing. Am I audible now? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You are audible, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, okay. Sir. Probably it was uh, uh, what you call mute in administration side. Anyway, thank you. Honorable patrons and advisory committee members of this one week virtual faculty development program 2022 organized by Department of Physical Education and sports sciences and department of yoga of college of science and humanities science uh, and humanities srm institute of science and technology respected convener of this uh, sports uh, dr r mohan krishnan director co-convener dr s jay singh jay singh albert chandrasekhar hod physical education dr m sindhil kumar HOD Department of Yoga, Organizing Secretary, Dr. N.C. Jesus Rajkumar, Coordinators, Dr. Y.C. Louis Raj, Dr. C. Jubiliate Nyana Chellam, Dr. D.J. Asad Ali Khan, and Sessions Expert, Dr. J. Mohana Krishnan, Physiotherapist, Department of Neurosurgery, JIPMA, participating PEDs, trainers, sports personnel, and all the delegates attending the session. Good afternoon, one and all. I am honored to have been invited to this uh, inaugural session where the chief orator of today's post-lunch session, Dr. J. Mohana Krishnan, physiotherapist, Department of Neurosurgery, Jipmer, is going to address on the topic, basics of injury management in sports. I declare this session open. I'm sure his speech will be of an eye opener to the sports personnel, physical education directors and trainers who face such difficulties in their day-to-day -day practice and performance in sports. Before concluding, I just want to share one of the important quotes, write your injuries in dust, your benefits in marble. So injuries are temporary. Definitely every sports personnel can perform, achieve, and definitely make wonders in their life. So with this, I conclude my inaugural address. Thank the organizing committee for giving me this 
wonderful opportunity to listen to the expert. Thank you, sir. Now over to the organizing team. Thank you, sir. Thank you for your short and sweet inaugural, for, sir, inaugural uh, address, sir. Thank you very much. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to introduce the today's speaker. It gives me immense pleasure to introduce Dr. J. Monikrishnan, resource person of this afternoon session. He is an expert in the clinical skill areas of pain management, orthopedic re rehabilitation, manual therapy, techniques, sports rehabilitation, and yoga therapy. He works as a physiotherapist in the Department of Neurosurgery in now Jawaharlal Nehru Institute of Postgraduate Medical Education and Research, Puducherry. He has 25 years of rich experience in clinical physiotherapeutic skills in both operative and non-operative conditions of orthopedics, neurology, neurosurgery, cardiothoracic, and vascular surgery. He did his Bachelor of Physiotherapy in the year 1995 MPT in the year 2009 and completed Doctor of Philosophy in the year 2016. He has published many articles in the international reputed journals and is also a key speaker in plenty of national and international seminars. Over to you, sir, for the presentation. Sir, please. Thank you. <clears throat> thank you. Thank you, sir. Thanks a lot for the introduction. Hope my voice is clear and loud. Yes, sir. Yes. You're clear. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thanks for the introduction. And uh, uh, first of all, I extend my uh, gratitude to the organizers to uh, press down my name and uh, request me to uh, deliver a speech in this uh, prestigious occasion. And I hope my uh, presentation could be of some benefit to the uh, objective of this particular program. And uh, uh, first, let me make it very clear, like uh, this is not going to be just a monologue. Uh, it has to be a, a dialogue. And I'm very sure that will try to exchange or will try to have a good amount of understanding and will exchange ideas rather than just speaking for the next few uh, hours together. So having said that, I would love to discuss, argue, fight with all of you. At the end of the time, at, at the end of the day, we will take home some useful messages which can benefit to the uh, sports personnel in our country. Having said that, let us start the presentation. Is it being shared, sir? Organizers, could you please confirm me whether my screen is being shared or not? Yes, sir, sir. Screen is shared, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, sure. Thank you. Um, yeah, uh, the, uh, today's topic is uh, just going to be very, very basic. And I'm very sure that all the learned persons who are at attending this uh, uh, online webinar would be uh, aware of what I'm going to speak on. And uh, they will have a lot of experience in this. It is just going to be a share and don't feel otherwise. I'm just going to touch the basics as requested by the organizers. Before I could start this presentation, I just prostrate in front of God. I thank my family, my patients, and my teachers. Having said that, today's webinar, we are going to see uh, some basic definitions regarding what is a sports injury and what are the common uh, injuries, what we are going to face and what are the things we should understand for a better management. Uh, I know there is a, a limitation for us to handle the management part of it, but we need to identify, identification is more important because uh, the timely identification proves to be very useful. And uh, today's topic, we are going to go into the depth of identification part of it, a little of management, and we are going to conclude the session. What do you define? How do you define sports injury? It is something like the uh, damage of the tissues to the body that occurs as a result of sport during or after sports. That is what the uh, definition goes about. This classification I have tried to put forth in front of you 
to have a better understanding. See, in the screen, you can see nine uh, topics which has been highlighted and it is basically discussed in the textbook of sports medicine by Khan. It's called Bruckner Khan, uh, which says that these are all the main classification with which you go with a musculoskeletal injury. Today's presentation, we have a limitation restricted to musculoskeletal part and not anything else. That is a limitation and uh, I would be touching a little above and below, but nevertheless, I will not go in depth outside this particular purview of musculoskeletal domain. First, we need to understand one thing. Before trying to know or identify and understand what an injury means or we need to know what is about acute and chronic. Acute injury and chronic injury. See, let me just go into depth of it because this is a very, very important slide because you have an athlete who has an injury in the past, but he continues to play, does not come under the category of acute. Why should we know the difference between an acute and a chronic injury? What is the, what is the importance in it? See, chronic injury is something like a known devil. Like you know that is there and you, have, you are anticipating something and you know it is going to affect this particular part of the body in this particular sport and you are ready and prepared for the worst term scenario. That is about a chronic injury. But acute injury is, is, is an unknown devil. You don't know where it is going to strike you which joint is going to get injured and what you need to do, you never know about it. So acute injury is the one which is which has to be handled at a, with, a, with, a, with a high skill uh, full uh, team around to support you and to get the individual back to track. So if you see on what basis do you differentiate this injury into acute and chronic? As I previously said, based on the number of episodes, you don't have any episodes of previous injury, previous episodes of injury, then you can say, if at all the patient that the individual is going to have an injury, it's going to be for the first time, it is a single episode, then it is called as acute injury. It has happened yesterday, day before, or three days before. If it passes beyond a week, it's called a subacute, it's not acute, but once you know that a person who has got, for example, a volleyball player who has dislocated the thumb, you can anticipate or you can understand that this fellow might dislocate his thumb again, which he has already dislocated in the previous matches or the last year or the previous. So episodes will define the stage of the disease, that is, sorry, injury that is the acute or the chronic part of it. And it goes without saying, the status of the injury if it is new, it is acute. If it is already there, then you put it in the category of chronic. And when you have an injury, this injury part of it, if it is a bit superficial or it is, it is concerned with the, the skin and just the, the, the level below the skin, it is mostly the acute part. Of it. And what happens is any injury which injures the skin, the sub, that is the superficial and the deep part of it, slowly it extends to the deeper layers as it becomes more and more or it becomes serious, then you call it as chronic injury. So based on the level, you have a superficial and deep part. And time part of it, it happens suddenly. Acute injury happens immediately, suddenly. And the important thing, what, you, what as, a, as a coach or an or a, or a therapist, you need to understand that chronic injury has got a gradual episode. Right? It starts from the least. Like it keeps accumulating. It keeps And intensity of the pain, remember, if the pain is acute and intolerable, it is definitely an acute injury. But whereas if it is a, if it is a chronic injury, then there will be a 
pain, which is lingering and soft, which the individual can manage at times, it can get worse. In this group, I think it's post-lynch session. It's not that easy to attend and to take. Can somebody give me a difference between the difference between acute injury and a chronic injury as far as intensity of the pain is concerned? And the example, what I told about intolerable and tolerable pain. In your experience, any one of you, can you just narrate the difference between acute and chronic in your in the past, sir? Anybody, sir? Anybody out there? Long time injury, Mr. Srinivas Reddy. Long time injury, chronic. No, I just want to want to interact. Somebody can switch on the mic and just talk about your experience as far as the intensity of the pain, acute and chronic, tolerable and intolerable. And what you see on the screen. Can anybody please open up? Yes, sir. Somebody was speaking. Srinivas Reddy, sir. Srinivas Reddy, sir, please speak up. would love to talk to you. You can unmute yourself and talk. No mic. Okay, good. Fine. Thank you. Sir, mic allowed, sir. Already allowed for Srinivas Reddy. By our person. situation would be very nice if somebody could talk. Nevertheless, you can try next time. Uh, based on the period, it goes without saying, acute injury will have a short period of you know, pain or whatever discomfort you have. And the other one is for a long time. And the region is direct and indirect. Uh, how I would like to explain is like, for example, if you have a shoulder injury, invariably, an acute injury will, will have a direct impact on the shoulder or the person should have gone an overhead injury, for example, a volleyball smash. Immediately after it, you will have an uh, you will have an uh, a pain in the shoulder after which the individual undergoes intolerable pain. That will be a direct mode of uh, injury to the shoulder. So it's usually acute in nature. But what happens is, like for example, you you while playing, you just uh, uh, you have some injury in the, in, the, in, the, in the shoulder for a long time, and you keep doing something and after which you get a back pain. For example, you have a knee issue and you keep playing with the knee issue and suddenly you keep playing and one fine day you, will, you see that you have a back pain. Uh, the back pain is, is not direct. The back is not directly exposed to the injury part of it, but because of indirect source of the knee, it has landed up to the back. So that is what is about indirect cause of the pain. So as a physical education teaches or physio, physiotherapist need to know the difference between acute and chronic for you to manage the issue. Remember, you are there in the field and you are the first person to pick up the injury and the, the acute management means a lot to the individual and a lot has to be done for his future career. And if it is not being properly attended, then the athlete's uh, life will be in soon. So having said that, we'll go to the next slide. Hope everybody is clear with it. And all the rest of the slides are based on this acute and chronic classifications. Yeah. You can see the uh, classification. The first is the bone. The next is the articular cartilage. This articular cartilage by mean that is what which covers the bone in the joint. When two bones articulate in between each other, you need some sort of lubrication. And when you sort of softness, that is being given by the articular cartilage which surrounds the 
end of the bone and that is what you call it as articular cartilage and joint you all know what it is and ligament is the fourth one fifth is the muscle sixth is the tendon tendon is the junction between or it is the part of the muscle which gets attached to the bone that is what is called as tendon and the bursa is something like a sac filled with fluid to offer a lubrication or a smooth function of the muscle close to the bone normally what happens is that when muscle crosses through it, through the bone and repeatedly when the muscle contracts the point at which the muscle touches the bone can go in for a wear and tear just to prevent that you need to have some sort of a lubrication or a, or a cushioning approach so that is what is being done by bursa and everybody knows the eighth is one is the nerve nerve is very uh, you, are, you you all are uh, thorough with it and skin invariably everybody understands so these nine things we are going to see in detail in the acute and chronic differentiation. See, the first thing what you need to understand in, in a musculoskeletal injury is the first and foremost is the, the deepest tissue that is a very important tissue is that is yeah, your bone. The bone, when you have an acute injury, it is invariably a fracture. The worst comes scenario on this field or to a sportsman is a fracture. And the next less amount of, less serious, I should say, less intensity is going to be a periosteal contusion. Periosteum is something like a covering which, which is given to be with a lamination which is being given to the bone. This periosteum sometimes, because of the injury, fracture aham and the periosteum, that is what is called as periosteal contusion. But whereas chronic apathina, you have Six classification that is stress fracture, strain in the bone, stress reaction, osteitis, periosteitis, and apophysitis. This is the chronic. On the field, immediate are the either fracture ahalam, illa contusion varla, illa romanala irkara the dina, stress fracture varla, ungipan the bone the strain ahala, illa ti, nasuna last three classifications. We'll go to the depth of what it is. Acute injuries la patina, unglory a screen left hand side left the or phalanx fracture and the barrel la middle phalanx and so on. Other than the fracture, it is very obviously seen. And uh, you can see the other side of the, the right hand side of your screen, you have a shaft that is the thigh bone and the fracture eye misplaced. So it is something like an acute injury to the bone, which is very, very obvious. And uh, when it comes to the chronic part of it, okay, chronic part of it. Namunna me chonna apdi. Ungil bande pati na stress fracture apdi choli sabam. Ungil screen le left hand side le pati gudi na foot le lerka kodi yanda metatarsal bones apdi chalo. And the long bones are really, yeah, you can see the arrow here, red arrow, which is being pointed out. I'll pass in a bit now. Or mega muta madri or cloud for my parent. I don't know if I'm not getting now. Here can be injury in the room, but repeated a word of word of word of word of word of is one that March fracture of insulin. I've been an enough in the Kadinamana shoes put it in the soldiers around the March Pandrana or a kudi and the repeated stress. Other the Adipatatale, Patu 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 or other than the Nana, other rumba common arm is running. In sports like a common art, but not in, in younger part of age. But nevertheless, you need to know that in their the in the mari fractures varalam immediate a pain in the it can have a gradual onset and it can have severe pain. It is a very, very debilitating condition. On the right hand side, pathing in the classification osteitis of the insulin one, even the osteo pubis osteitis and so on, osteitis pubis and so on. The pubic and the pelvis bone the render the joint are the original inflammation. And the red circle put a come check. When you have a strong abduction force, rather end the Kali, Agatina Plavarakudia, skating in the running type of the football, in the strong kicking motion, Idilla on the Rumba the Wal. Either on the Urunala Varakudi Vishame Karea, either over a period of time, Kunjuma, Kunjuma, Dikumahi. You will have this uh, chronic osteitis pubis in Chalonga. Okay? This is very common in football, skating, ice skating, in the Marie Delevan, where you have a vulnerability of thigh getting abducted or a strong kick force. Urkala, Uni, Nurkala, Begama, Vadikaramode, 
உங்களுக்கு அந்த ஃபோர்ஸ் ஃபுல்லாக ரெக்டார் கம்பார்ட்மெண்ட்டில் போய் ஃபுல் பண்ணும்போது உங்களுக்கு இந்த மாதிரி சான்சஸ் நிறையா இருக்கு அடுத்த கிளாசிஃபிகேஷன் பார்த்தீங்கன்னா பெரிய ஆஸ்டேட்டஸ் உங்களோட லெப்ட் ஹேண்ட் சைடில் பார்த்தீங்கன்னா ஒரு சின்ன ஆரோமாட் போட்டுருக்கு பாருங்க அந்த போன் மேலே ஒரு சின்ன லைன் ஒன்று வந்துருக்கு இது வந்து பெரிய ஆஸ்டேட் நான் முன்னமே சொன்ன மாதிரி இந்த போனுக்கு மேலே ஆஸ்ட் ஒரு லேமினேஷன் போட்ட மாதிரி இருக்கு இது வந்து என்ன ஆகும்னு கேட்டீங்கன்னா ரிப்பீட்டட் ஸ்ட்ரெஸ்னால என்ன ஆகுன்னா கொஞ்சம் அந்த இடத்துல கொஞ்சம் எழும்பி நாப்பில் காட்டிருக்கும் அது வந்து பார்த்தீங்கன்னா அது வந்து பெரிய ஆஸ்டேட்டிஸ்னு சொல்லுவோம் அந்த பெரிய ஆஸ்டியம் வந்து இன்ஃப்ளேம் ஆனால் அது பேர் பெரிய ஆஸ்டேட்டிஸ்னு சொல்லுவாங்க ஸோ இங்கே வழி இருக்கு அப்படின்னு சொல்லும்போது நம்ம வந்து அது அவன் வந்து வேணுக்குன்னு சொல்கிறான் நம்ம சைக்கலாஜிக்கலாக சொல்கிறான் அப்படின்னு சொல்லாமல் நம்ம மனசில் இந்த ஒரு 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 தாட் ப்ராசஸ் இருக்கணும் இமீடியட்டாக நம்ம என்ன பண்ணணும் ஒரு ஆர்த்தபடிக் சர்ஜனுக்கு ரெஃபரன்ஸ் கொடுத்து வெரி ஷுட் ஆல்வேஸ் ரூல் அவுட் அ பெரிய ஆஸ்டேட்டிஸ் விச் இஸ் வெரி வெரி காமன் இன் ஃபுட்பால் ரன்னிங் ஸ்போர்ட்ஸ் அதாவது ரிப்பீட்டட் ரன்னிங் ஸ்போர்ட்ஸில் ரொம்ப காமனாக இருக்கும் நல்லா ஞாபகம் வச்சுக்கோங்க இது திஸ் கம்ஸ் அண்டர் கிரானிக் இன்ஜுரி வேர் இட் கே நாட் பி எலிசிட்டட் இம்மீடியட்லி மொதல் நாளில் தெரியவே தெரியாது ஒரு மாதம் ஒரு பதினஞ்சு நாள் ஒரு முப்பது நாள் ஒரு நாற்பத்தஞ்சு நாள் இவ்வளோ நாள் ஓடி 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 கொஞ்சம் கொஞ்சமாக அதிகமாகி சிவியர் ஆகும் அதனால் வந்து அவன் சொல்லிக்கிட்டே இருக்கான் ரொம்ப நாளாக சொல்லிக்கிட்டே இருக்கான்றத இக்னோர் பண்ணாமல் இம்மீடியட்டாக அவங்கள ஆர்த்தபடிக் சர்ஜன்ட்டு கொண்டு போனாக்கா நம்ம ஈஸியாக மேனேஜ் பண்ணலாம் இனி இப்போ நீங்கள் ரைட் ஹேண்ட் சைடில் பார்க்குறது வந்து அப்போஃபைசைட்டிஸ்னு சொல்லுவாங்க இல்லாட்டி சீரியஸ் டிசீஸ்னு சொல்லுவாங்க ஒரு போன் அப்படிங்கும்போது அந்த போன் வந்து வளர்ச்சி அதோட ரெண்டு எண்டுலேயுமே வளரும் இந்த ஒரு எண்டில் வளர்கிற இடத்துல இந்த மாதிரி அப்போஃபைசைட்டிஸ்னு சொல்லுவாங்க அந்த வளர்கிற எண்டில் வந்து இன்ஃப்ளமேஷன் ஆச்சுன்னா அது வந்து இந்த ரிப்பீட்டட் லோடிங்கில் வரும் அப்படின்னு சொல்லி சொல்லுவாங்க மோஸ்ட்லி ஒரு ஒரு டீனேஜில் அது வரலாம் வரலாம் இது வந்து காரணங்கள் நிறையா இருக்கு இது வந்து மெட்டபாலிக் காசஸ் நிறையா இருக்கு வேற ஏதாவது டிசீஸ் இருக்கலாம் அவங்களுக்கு இல்லை கிட்னியில் ஏதாவது ப்ராப்ளம் இருக்கலாம் இது கொஞ்சம் ரேர் தான் ஸ்போர்ட்ஸில் இருந்தாலும் ஒருத்தர் அந்த இடத்துல வலிக்குது அப்படின்னு சொன்னால் உடனே நம்ம அஃபோஃபைசிட்டிஸாக இருக்கணும்னு அவசியம் இல்லை நெவர் தலஸ் வி கேன் திங்க் ஆஃப் இட் பட் இட் இஸ் நாட் ஆல்வேஸ் அஃபோஃபைசிட்டிஸ் விச் கேன் காஸ் ஹீல் பெய் ஜஸ்ட் ரிமெம்பர் தலை வலிக்கிறனால அது வந்து மூளையில் கட்டி இருக்கணும்னு அவசியம் இல்லை இப்போ நான் இந்த ப்ராபபிலிட்டி சொல்கிறனால இந்த ப்ராபபிலிட்டிஸ் ஆயிரத்தில் ஒரு காசாக இருக்கலாமே ஒடிய ஆயிரத்தில் எல்லாமே இதுதான் இருக்கணும்னு அவசியம் இல்லை so don't always think about this probability in all the uh, occasions you can have it in the back of your mind when they complain for a long period of time and the pain increases gradually and it is debilitating which is a tolerable pain understand the first slide where we spoke about the acute and chronic differences having said that இப்போ வந்துருச்சு ஃப்ராக்சர் வந்துருச்சு இப்போ நம்ம அக்யூட் ஃப்ராக்சரும் பார்த்தோம் கிரானிக் ஃப்ராக்சரும் பார்த்தோம் இப்போ நம்ம என்ன பண்ணணும் வாட் டு டூ ஆஸ் அன் இண்டிவிஜுவல் இன் தி ஃபீல்ட் என்ன பண்ணலாம் நம்ம வாட் கேன் பி டூ வாட் ஹேஸ் டு பி டன் அப்படின்னு பார்க்கும்போது நீங்கள் வந்து அக்யூட்டாக பார்த்தீங்க அப்படின்னா யூ வில் சி இன்டாலரபிள் பெயின்ஸ் பெயின் வந்து கத்தி உண்மாளம் போட்டு கத்திரும் நிறைய பேருக்கு உங்களுக்கு அந்த அனுபவம் இருக்கும் அந்த பெயின் இருக்கும் டெண்டர்னஸ் அப்படின்னா அந்த அடிப்பட்ட இடத்துல தொடும்போது வரக்கூடிய வலி வலிங்கிறது பேஷண்ட் சொல்றது உங்க தொடு தொடரனால தொடும்போது வர்ற வலி பேர் வந்து டெண்டர்னஸ் சொல்லுவாங்க இந்த டெண்டர்னஸ் ரொம்ப கரெக்டா எந்த இடத்துல அடிபட்டு கையை இப்போ கையை ஊனி ஒரு இடத்துல விழுந்திருக்கான் அப்படின்னா அந்த இடத்துல வந்து தொடும்போது அவன் வலிக்கும்னு சொல்லுவான் அண்ட் ஸ்வெல்லிங் வந்து ரொம்ப ஃபாஸ்டா இருக்கும் வித்தின் ஒரு டென் பிப்டீன் மினிட்ஸ் ஒரு டுவெண்ட்டி மினிட்ஸ் பார்த்தீங்கன்னா நல்லா புஸ்னு வேங்கிடும் அதுவும் சூப்பர்ஃபிஷியல் போனா ரொம்ப வேகமா இருக்கும் கொஞ்சம் டீப்பர் போனா இருந்தா கொஞ்சம் மெதுவாக தான் வரும் அண்ட் சில இடங்கள்ல அடிபட்ட உடனே பிளீடிங் கூட வரலாம் சில இடத்துல ரத்தம் கட்டிக்கும் சில இடத்துல பிளீடும் ஆகும் வென் இட் இஸ் அன் ஓப்பன் இன்ஜரி அது கொஞ்சம் இன்ஃபெக்ஷனுக்கான சான்சஸ் இருக்குது ஸோ யூ ஹேவ் டு வெரி கேர் அண்டு நார்மலாக பார்த்தீங்க அப்படின்னா ஒரு இடத்துல ஃப்ராக்சர் ஆயிருக்கு அப்படின்னா நார்மலாக இருக்கக்கூடிய மூமெண்ட் இல்லாமல் அப்நார்மல் மூமெண்ட் இருக்கும் இப்போ சாதாரணமாக வந்து கை பார்த்தீங்கன்னா இதுக்கு மேலே நம்மளால் மறக்க பின்னாடி கொண்டு போக முடியாது இங்கே முன்னாடி மடங்கு பட் இப்போ இந்த இடத்துல எனக்கு ஃப்ராக்சர் ஆயிடுச்சு அப்படின்னா கையை கொண்டு போனால் கை பயங்கரமாக மடங்கு இட் இஸ் லைக் அ காமிக்கி பிக்சர் எவ்ரிபடி கேன் அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் வாட் என் ட்ரைங் திஸ் So, movement is abnormal and the part looks deformed. That is why the shape is marred. The hand is not like this, but the shape is marred. If you look at the fracture, the shape is marred. If you look at the shape, you can see the shape.
அது வந்து த்ரோயிங்ல ஸ்விம்மிங்ல ஸ்கையிங் ஸ்போர்ட்ஸ்ல உங்களுக்கு ரொம்ப காமனா இருக்கு அது வந்து பார்க்கும்போது உங்களுக்கு சாதாரணமா ரெண்டு கையும் கம்பேர் பண்ணி பார்க்கும்போது ரெண்டு காலும் கம்பேர் பண்ணி பார்க்கும்போது அந்த ஆப்போசிட் சைடு கம்பேர் பண்ணும்போது அந்த மசில் கான்டூர் வந்து மாறி இருக்கும் கான்டூர் அப்படிங்கிறது பார்த்தீங்கன்னா ஆஹ் ஒரு ஒரு ஷேப்பே மாறி போய் உதாரணத்துக்கு சில பேர் வந்து இந்த பைசப் ஸ்ட்ரக்சரை பார்த்துருப்பீங்க சாதாரணமா பைசப்ஸ் வந்து பார்த்தீங்கன்னா ஒரு மேடோட இருந்து பள்ளமா இருக்கும் பட் வென் இட் இஸ் ரப்சர் நீங்க மடக்கணும்னு நினைச்சீங்கன்னா கை மடங்காது பட் மசில் மட்டும் மேல போய் சொருகிட்டீங்க Somebody is raising the hand. How am I to help you, sir? Yes, sir. Somebody wanted a help. Gokul? Yes, sir. Yes, Mr. Gokul. Please tell me. Shall I proceed? ஸோ ஒரு ஃப்ராக்சரை நீங்கள் ஐடென்டிஃபை பண்ணுறதுக்கு இந்த சேலியன் ஃபீச்சர்ஸ் வந்து கண்டிப்பாக முக்கியமாக அஞ்சு பாயிண்ட் நான் வச்சுக்கோங்க பெயின் வாம்ப்னஸ் ஸ்வெல்லிங் ரெட்னஸ் அண்ட் லாஸ் ஆஃப் ஃபங்க்ஷன் முன்னாடி வந்து கையை வந்து இப்படி பரட்டிட்டு இருந்தாங்க அடிப்பட்டுருச்சு என்னால் பரட்டவே முடியல ஐ கேன் நாட் மூவ் அப்படிங்கும்போது யூ கேன் டெஃபினெட்லி சஸ்பெக்ட் அ ஃப்ராக்சர் ஒன்று ஞாபகம் வச்சுக்கோங்க when you are on the field and when you see a person falling down and complaining of pain there is nothing wrong to suspect a fracture and to rule out a fracture rather than ignoring a fall and continuing to play a fracture and making it worse that can spoil the individual's career oru naal palayattukaga walkey vena kirukku நம்ம என்ன பண்ணோம் அன்னைக்கு அந்த மேட்ச் சாக்ரிஃபைஸ் பண்ணிட்டு டைம் போனா பரவாயில்லன்னு சொல்லிட்டு ஒரு எக்ஸ்பர்ட்டோட ஒப்பீனியனை வாங்கிட்டு போகும்போதே ஒரு எக்ஸ்ரே எடுத்துட்டு கொண்டு போய் அந்த பர்டிகுலர் ஒப்பீனியன் இப்பதான் வாட்ஸ்அப் எல்லாம் வந்துருக்கு ஜஸ்ட் டேக் அப் எக்ஸ்ரே புட்டிட் இந்த வாட்ஸ்அப் அண்ட் சண்டிட் அக்ராஸ் டு யூர் ஆர்த்தடிக் சர்ஜன் டு யுவர் டீம் பிசிஷன் ஒப்பீனியன் வாங்கிட்டு அதுக்கப்புறமா யூ கேன் கோ ஹேட் வித் தி டிசிஷன் மேக்கிங் வெதர் டு இண்டிவிஜுவல் கேன் பிளே ஆர் நாட் டு பிளே ஸோ ஐ ஸ்ட்ரெஸ் அப்பான் த ஃபேக்டர் தட் இட் இஸ் ஆல்வேஸ் வைஸ் அண்ட் ஆஃப் டு ரூல் அவுட் rather than to ignore that is which is very very important in sports enna pannano adin pathina i think you will have an experience anybody would love to share would like to share sorry i thought a lot of people will participate in the discussion part of it but anybody any any proactive individual in this group <laughs> any youngsters or like a, a experienced person who can narrate his experience how did he handle a fracture on the field okay uh, what to do you support the part you splint the part you shift it and take it to a specialist remember of this four s support is very very important see when in, when an in, when an injured person is there on the field first thing is psychological part romba depressed aidu vaanga they will feel upset and offended okay they will imagine all nonsense on the earth and they will be weak psychologically go support them it is not the supporting the part of the frac limb which has fractured but remember when you have an injury first thing is, is to support give a psychological support. go hug him support him reassure him before you take a call on what has to be done the next and splint splint ellarkum theriyum splint vandu pathinga appadina you need not you, you cannot carry all the splint everywhere you can have some sort of wooden sticks anga enna iruko and the field anga irukra velakama irukuda ungalku or support a use aagum illa scale anga or marker irupanga avanga scale vechirupanga இல்ல ஒண்ணுமே இல்லையா அங்க வேலையில இருக்கிற ஒரு குச்சி கூட நமக்கு வந்து ஸ்பிளிண்டா யூஸ் பண்ணிக்கலாம் வென் யூ ஹாவ் அஸ்ராக்சர் இன் தி அப்பலம் அந்த லோவலம் யூஸ் எனி சப்போர்ட் வாட் எவர் யூ கம் அக்ராஸ் மேனேஜ்மெண்ட் ஆஃப் நீ இன்ஜின் எஸ் லேட்டர் யூ பிளீஸ் சுவிச் ஆன் யூ மைக் அண்ட் டாக் வில் டிஸ்கஸ் வென் யூ ஹாவ் அ ஃப்ராக்சர் ஆஃப் லோவர் லிம்ஸ் ஆர் அப்பலம் you can always use even an umbrella scale stick enna la irukko chinna koda kai koda edu irundhalum vechi a support a vechi or bandage cloth or 
with the support of the the concept is to support the weak part which has been fractured and just tight tight na romba tight ah podakudadu support mattu kuduttu and abbe vande jagrade and individual shift panni and you take him to the hospital immediately without any delay anga poi x ray eduthu onnu illa abbingiradhu it is a different issue altogether nanna abbe sonnane anavasiyama vandirukom anavasiyama x ray eduthirukom it is not anavasiyam it is it is very very important even if it is a muscular injury you have a little element of doubt that it could be a fracture please never try to ignore i repeat it again and again go for an x ray inga when we are talking about the appendicular skeleton that is about the upper limb and the lower limb it's a different story pananjanad paathu use la but sila sports la paathina ungalku kaluthula mudugalumbu adavadhu spinal cord spinal cord la adipattichu appadinaaka you have to be very very careful and when you know that there is an injury to the spinal cord can anybody in this group can you tell me how will you identify a spinal cord injury anybody sir any any faculty or any student who has got uh, an experience on the field who has seen of late ungalku spinal cord la adipattu ungalku edavadhu experience anubavam unnanu ungalal sonninga na nalla irukum i can take it further or i'll just touch and go Think most of us most of us are dosing badly heavy lens sunday non veg pole so it's making things uh, manage headache in brain there will be a severe pain and can't move uh, can you please explain in detail mr sinivas reddy can't move ngirudhu ipo kai la adipatta kuda varla varla adipatta kuda ennal varla move panna mudiyadhu but spinal cord la adipattirukku appadinu neenga eppo eppo vandu neenga urudhi pada solluvinga good you are right ready uh, ready sir you are right but can you be more specific ipo kile vilunda odane or edathla varal adike vinga vingi pochu illa wrist la adipattu vingi pochu is not able to move the wrist so we suspect a fracture around the wrist but mudugalumbu adhaadu kaluthu illa idupu adipattirukku spinal cord adipattirukku abbingiradhu neenga eppadi identify panvinga or can i just move it without talking about it if you're interested i can talk or else i can just skip it yes sir okay let me touch and go i think i think i'm i'm going little deeper it's getting bored up i believe but i am just touching it and going because you should know when you see that a part of the body for example oru kayyu oru 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 mulu kai mulu kal இல்ல ரெண்டு கால் இல்ல ரெண்டு கை இல்ல ரெண்டு கையும் ரெண்டு காலும் நகராம உணர்ச்சி இல்லாம தொட்டா உணர்ச்சி இல்ல அசைக்க முடியல அப்படின்னா मतलब समझा नहीं यार समझाओ मुझे क्या बोलना चाहता है अरे स्विच ऑन माइक को स्विच ऑन करो बोलो फाइन सो व्हेन यू हैव एन इंजरी टू द स्पाइनल कॉर्ड क्रूड फॉर्मूला इज व्हेन यू कैन नॉट मूव एनी पार्ट ऑफ योर बॉडी रिमेंबर यू हैव एन इंजरी इन द नेक एंड व्हेन या नो सर वॉमिटिंग आता है कब आपका हेड इंजरी होता है vomiting is a classical sign of head injury and not spinal cord injury you can have but it is very rare good it was a good guess sir, dr akil um when you have an injury followed by which you cannot able to move the legs idupu kinkile nanna nagatha mudiyala indra oru vaartha vandaduna adu vande lower part of the spinal cord adi vaangirukku kai vande adi vaangala appadina artham yeah yeah you are right gopi parchuri all parts cannot move that is a right way what is the simple difference between a spinal cord injury and a head injury very simple spinal cord injury the patient will be conscious and the patient will not be able to move the limbs any part of the limb or all the limbs but in head injury the patient will lose consciousness the patient will not open the eyes he will not respond he will not respond to your voice not to your touch 
டச்சுன்னு நான் சொல்ல வரேன்னா அவனுக்கு எவ்வளவு தூரம் அடிபட்டிருக்குன்றது நம்ம தட்டி பார்த்து கிள்ளி பார்த்து பார்க்கணும் ஒரு வலியை உண்டாக்கி அதனுடைய ரெஸ்பான்ஸை பார்க்கணும் ஸோ இஃப் இட் இஸ் இஃப் இட் இஸ் பெயின் விச் இஸ் பெயின் கூட அவன் ரெஸ்பாண்ட் பண்ணல பேச்சுக்கும் ரெஸ்பாண்ட் பண்ணல கண்ணும் திறக்கல அப்படின்னா தென் இட் இஸ் அன் அசோசியேட்டட் வித் வாமிட்டிங் ஹேஸ் மிஸ்டர் வாட் இஸ் நேம் அகில் ஸ்டோல் வாமிட்டிங் இருக்கு இண்டிவிஜுவல் இஸ் வாமிட்டிங் he has got uh, uh, fluid uh, coming out of the mouth coming on nose and bleeding or through the ears or through the mouth then you can definitely think of an head injury so this is what everybody needs to know and i think you are all aware of it maybe you are too tired to talk to me but nevertheless i need to mention it when you have an injury this is what you are supposed to observe for and look for it and if you see any of this and when you when you come across a spinal cord injury kayyo kalayo வந்து மூவ் பண்ண முடியாம போச்சு அப்படின்னா ஜஸ்ட் அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் ஒன் திங் த கோல்டன் ரூல் இஸ் டோன்ட் மூவ் த நெக் டோன்ட் மூவ் த ட்ரங்க் கழுத்தையும் இடுப்பையும் ஒரு சேர வச்சு உங்களால எவ்வளவு சப்போர்ட் கொடுக்க முடியுமோ அது கழுத்தா இருந்தாலும் சரி இடுப்பா இருந்தாலும் சரி அப்படியே லாக் ரோலிங் சொல்லுவாங்க தனித்தனியா திருப்பாம ஒரு கட்டையை திருப்பாப்புல திருப்பி உருட்டி இல்ல அப்படியே படுக்க வச்சா அப்படியே அப்படியே தூக்கி ஒரு ட்ராலிலேயோ இல்லை ஒரு ஸ்ட்ரெச்சர்லேயோ போட்டு இம்மிடியட்லி எமர்ஜென்சி மெடிசன் அப்ரோச் பண்ணி ஒரு ஸ்பெஷலிஸ்டை கொடுத்து வைட்டல் சிஸ்டம் ப்ளேஸ் பண்ணி ஷிஃப்ட் பண்ணி ஸோ வென் யூ ஆர் சஸ்பெக்டிங் ஆஃப் ஸ்பைனல் கார்ட் இன்ஜுரி யூ ஹேவ் டு பி வெரி வெரி கேர்ஃபுல் அபவுட் யுவர் டிரான்ஸ்ஃபர் இங்கே தான் டிரான்ஸ்ஃபர் ஒரு டெக்னிக் வந்து உங்களுக்கு யூஸ் பண்ணுது அடிப்பட்ட சமயத்தில் உங்களுக்கு இன்ஜுரி வந்து ஒரு டுவெண்ட்டி ஃபைவ் டு தேர்ட்டி பர்சன்ட் இருக்கலாம் இல்லை ஃபிஃப்டி பர்சன்ட்னே வச்சுக்கலாம் அதில் அடிப்பட்டிருக்கு நீங்கள் ஜாக்கிரதையாக ஷிஃப்ட் பண்ணி ஜாக்கிரதையா ஹாஸ்பிட்டல் கொண்டு போய் ஸ்டெபிளைஸ் பண்ணாக்கா அவனுக்கு உண்டான சான்சஸ் ரொம்ப ரெக்கவரிக்கான சான்சஸ் இஸ் வெரி வெரி ஹை அதே ஐம்பது பர்சன்ட் தான் அடிபட்டிருக்கு நீங்க ஷிஃப்ட் பண்ணும் போது கவனக்குறைவா எழுப்பி அவனை போர்த்து தூக்கி படுக்க வச்சாலோ இல்ல நீங்க காலை தூக்கி தனித்தனியா தூக்கி நகர்த்தி படுக்க வச்சீங்கனாலோ அந்த ஐம்பது பர்சன்டேஜ் அடி அடிப்பட்டது எண்பதாவோ இல்ல தொண்ணூறாவோ அதிகமாயி பாதி வேலை செஞ்சுட்டு இருந்த நரம்பு முதுகு தண்டு கூட முழுசா வேலை செய்யாம போலாம் அது மட்டும் இல்ல அவனுடைய இம்ப்ரூவ்மெண்ட் சான்சஸ் வந்து is very 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 less anal and the acute management of spinal cord injury as far as sports person is concerned you have to be very very careful and better you try to uh, uh, learn yourself at this juncture uh, i would like to i would like to ask the director uh, director sir i think you are there can i ask you one question sir சொல்லுங்க சார் இப்ப நம்ம இந்த பார்ட்டிசிபென்ட்ல உங்க ஃபேக்கல்ட்டில எத்தனை பேர் வந்து பிஎல்எஸ் முடிச்சிருக்காங்க சார் இந்த பேசிக் லைஃப் சப்போர்ட்ன்ற அந்த அந்த சிபிஆர் கொடுத்து ஹார்வே கிளியரன்ஸ் பண்றது இப்ப ஒரு ஒரு எமர்ஜென்சி அது யாருமே படிச்சிருக்க வாய்ப்பு இல்லை சார் ஏன்னா அதனாலதான் நான் அன்னைக்கு உங்கள்ட்ட நான் டிஸ்கஸ் பண்றதே சொன்னேன் பேசிக் என்னங்கிறது எனக்கு எல்லாருக்கும் தெரிஞ்சுக்கணும் என்னோட ஃபேக்கல்டி அண்ட் மை ஸ்காலர்ஸ் அண்ட் ஆல் த ஃபேக்கல்டி ஃப்ரம் அதர் யூனிவர்சிட்டி ஆல்சோ பேசிக் ஞாபகப்படுத்துறதுக்கு தான் முக்கியமா ஓகே சார் ஓகே சார் நான் ஏன் இந்த கேள்வி கேட்டேன்னா சார் நீங்க சொல்லும் போது இது இட் ஹேஸ் அண்ட் Uh, weightage rather than me talking about it. If you tell me, it will be different. Uh, I would rather give a strong recommendation to all the people out here in this workshop. Please pursue your basic life support course. If you are getting it, you are going to get it. And it is being offered in the best university and best medical college hospitals, wherever you are. And, you, if, if, and the certificate is going to be very valuable. And the basic life support is going to be very valuable. It is going to be very valuable. இது வந்து என்னன்னு கேட்டீங்க அப்படின்னாக்கா உங்களுக்கு வந்து அந்த அக்யூட் மேனேஜ்மெண்ட்ல அங்க ஃபீல்ட்லயே சப்போஸ் அந்த இண்டிவிஜுவல் difference. ஓ ரெடி கார் மீர் தெலுங்கா தெலுங்கு மாட்லாடாச்சுனா இங்கிலீஷ் வந்தா ஓகே ஓகே ஸோ பிஎல்எஸ் கோர்ஸ் இஸ் சம்திங் வெரி இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் இட் இஸ் பேசிக் லைஃப் சப்போர்ட் கோர்ஸ் அண்ட் இட் இஸ் பீங் பீங் ஆஃபர்ட் இன் மே வேரியஸ் மெடிக்கல் காலேஜ் ஹாஸ்பிட்டல்ஸ் விச் இஸ் வெரி இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் அண்ட் இட்ஸ் அ பார்ட் ஆஃப் அ ஃபர்ஸ்ட் எய்ட் ஆல்சோ அண்ட் இஃப் சம்படி இஸ் டூயிங் அ ஃபர்ஸ்ட் எய்ட் கோர்ஸ் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் எய்ட் இஸ் ஆல்சோ வெரி குட் 
So that would be the, uh, the take home message uh, from this uh, workshop. If at all you are, uh, if at all you are, you want to excel in, in, in injury management, every one of your team member, uh, let him be the driver or the coach or the physio or the, or the caretaker or the line mark, mark marker, whoever it is. See, that is something which is important and you can definitely learn. And there are some institutions which may say that, no, you are not eligible to take a BLS, uh, that nevertheless you take the uh, first aid uh, course and uh, be aware of your shifting transfers and basic life support and things like that. So I would like to place it as a request. Having said that about the bone part of it, I'm going to switch over to the articular cartilage. Any questions so far, sir? Any questions? Yeah, uh, this basic life support, you can enquire, you can put it across in net and you think, is the course available in SRM? Please do share. I think sir has to answer this question. Uh, so, uh, sir, go in the Swami, sir, Saluna, sir. Sorry. Sir, good afternoon, sir. Saluna, sir. Uh, sir, I have a doubt about it. International player, sir. Hello, sir. International competitors proper warm up, proper warm down, proper exercise, proper nutrition, proper physiotherapist, personal trainer, during the matches. Uh, for example, some injuries in the 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 injuries in uh, thanks for calling and uh, attending it. Thank you. Uh, to answer your question, sir, uh, see, certain things are inevitable. Uh, if I understand your question properly, uh, if I understand your question properly, sir. Sir, is, is for example, yeah, sir, our international competitors are personal and scientific coaches. Adupoga scientific trained equipment song irgde, Adupoga on a proper warming up, proper nutrition, on a particular on the muscle can not the opera, particular on the movement can not madri, training the opera, upding a yellame path the path the pandranga. But injuries, for example, fracture are the common, dislocation are the common. But proper, particular on the muscle, muscle, suppose. For example, on the pathing up football lay on the day, speed up by ball and open your grapple. Shadana on the footballer or player or Kondu muscle pull out. So, our training punny you, you will facilitate you in the Yetana, the Abdinaka. Sir, actually, Pathina, I'm a question Kunja hypothetical. Yetana were the Pina Adivanda Namala and the ninety per cent Solomonia. Probabilities always can answer your question for ten percent. Most of the time, injuries are not prepared. There are so many influencing factors. There are so many influencing factors. There are so many influencing factors. There are so many training factors. There are so many There but they will continue to play. Injury is recovery faster. Do you agree to me that? Yes, sir. In the end probability, you attend to the injury. In the end of the day, injury is not What is the factor which separates these two categories? There are so many factors. Psychological status is very, very important, sir. Second thing, and the level of sports, environment, the climatic conditions, and stress is an important factor which can predispose injuries. And the individual psychological makeup has got a predominance. That is, the mentality 
இட் கேன் ஸ்பீக் ஃபார் இட்ஸ் பெயின்ஸ் இப்ப நான் சொன்ன அந்த முதல் என்னதான் பண்ணா பண்ணாலும் அடி வாங்குறான் ஒண்ணுமே பண்ணாட்டாலும் அடி வாங்கல அப்படிங்கிற அந்த ரெண்டு பேருக்கு உள்ள மேஜர் டிஃபரன்ஸ் வந்து பாத்தீங்கன்னா அவங்க கொண்டு வரக்கூடிய அந்த ஜெனடிக் மேக்கப்பும் அவங்களுக்கு இருக்க அந்த சைக்கலாஜிக்கல் ஸ்ட்ரேட்டஸும் தான் சார் மெயின் இது ரெண்டும் தான் வந்து ஒரு சக்சஸ்ஃபுல் ஸ்போர்ட்ஸ் மேன் உதாரணத்துக்கு ஸ்ரேயஸ் ஐயர் எடுத்துக்கோங்க அவர் வந்து ஈ ஹேட் அ வெரி பேட் ஷோல்டர் இன்ஜரி ஈ அண்டர் வெண்ட் அ மேஜர் சர்ஜரி பட் இஸ் பேக் யாருமே வருவாங்கன்னு நினைக்கல சி எவ்ரி பாசிபிள் ரீஹாபிலிட்டேஷன் வாஸ் டன் அப்ப நம்ம வந்து சர்ஜரி பெஸ்ட் சர்ஜரி பெஸ்ட் ரீஹாப் பெஸ்ட் கோச் பெஸ்ட் பிளேயர் அப்படின்னு சொல்றோம் இல்ல இந்த சர்ஜன் ஆகட்டும் இந்த ரீஹாப் ஸ்பெஷலிஸ்ட் ஆகட்டும் இல்ல இந்த கோச் ஆகட்டும் எது வாட் எவர் இட் இஸ் இட் இஸ் இண்டிவிஜுவல் ஹூ ஃபைனலி மேட்டர்ஸ் ஸோ அந்த இண்டிவிஜுவல் தான் காரணமே ஒழிய அந்த இண்டிவிஜுவலை சுத்தி இருக்கிற அந்த என்விரான்மெண்ட் தான் காரணமே ஒழிய நம்ம கிட்ட அது கையில இல்லவே இல்லை சார் அது வந்து நம்ம கண்ட்ரோல் ஃபேக்டரி வராது இப்போ ஒரு ரிசர்ச்ல எடுத்துக்கிட்டீங்கன்னா எக்ஸ்ட்ரீனியஸ் ஃபேக்டர்னு சொல்லுவோம் சில ஃபேக்டர்ஸ் நீங்க கண்ட்ரோல் பண்ணலாம் சில ஃபேக்டர் நீங்க கண்ட்ரோலே பண்ண முடியாது அந்த மாதிரி ஒரு ஃபேக்டர் தான் இந்த இன்ஜுரிக்கான காரணம் அது எதுவா வேணா இருக்கலாம் இட் இஸ் வெரி வெரி டிஃபிகல்ட் யூ கேனாட் ஆன்டிசிபேட் சில சமயத்துல நீங்க இன்ஜுரி ஆனதுக்கு அப்புறம் நீங்க கண்டுபிடிக்கலாமே ஒழிய பட் நீங்க ப்ரிப்பேர்டா இருக்கிறது ரொம்ப ரொம்ப கஷ்டம் ஐ திங்க் ஐ ஆன்சர்ட் யூ கொஸ்டின் சார் டிட் ஐ சார் தேங்க்யூ சார் தேங்க்யூ தேங்க்ஸ் ஃபார் மேக்கிங் திஸ் செஷன் லைவ் எஸ் சார் பிசியாலஜிக்கல் அடாப்ஷன் ஆஃப் தி பாடி follow through moments of time expected accidents major play. yeah yeah understand sir. yes i go with you ready sir next comes your articular cartilage and the rendal vulnerability nam pesa shall i go to the next one yes you are with me it's because of dehydrated muscle cramp and strain happens to have water content yes sir, this is one of the uh, arvindan sir uh, pc kare avar vandi he is attributing to the hydration status of an individual 100% பர்சன்ட் ஆகும் அது நான் சொன்னேன் இல்லையா பல காரணங்களில் ஒரு காரணம் ஹைட்ரேஷன் ஸோ ஹைட்ரேஷன் மட்டுமே சொல்ல முடியாது ஹைட்ரேஷன் இஸ் ஒன் ஆஃப் ஒன் ஆஃப் த ரீஸ் குட் ஐ திங்க் பீப்புள் ஆர் கெட்டிங் மோர் அண்ட் மோர் ஆக்டிவ் ஐ லவ் திஸ் ஐ வாண்ட் டு சி மோர் ஆஃப் திஸ் ஆஃப் குட் சார் ஸோ ஹேவிங் சைட் தட் இப்போ நம்ம நெக்ஸ்ட் இப்போ பார்த்தீங்கன்னாக்கா நம்ம ஆர்டிகுலர் கார்டிலேஜ் போகும் ஆர்டிகுலர் கார்டிலேஜ் இஸ் சம்திங் லைக் விச் கவர்ஸ் த போன் க்ளோஸ் டு த ஜாயின் இந்த அக்யூட்டாக என்ன ஆகும் அப்படின்னு பார்த்தீங்கன்னா யூ கேன் ஹேவ் அ மைல்டு ஃப்ராக்சர் at the site of the bone surface that is called as an osteochondral fracture chronica pathing appadina and the edathula vandu chondropathy nu solluva chondropathy appadina ka and the cover vandu or naal pattu theimanam repeated stress to the periosteum or at the i'm sorry on the articular cartilage can lead to a chondropathy adukundana example pathinga the chondromalacia petal anchor have you ever heard this word i think i know you should have definitely heard especially in the growing teenagers more common with girls and in descending sports the jumping sports running sports la pathina and the mutti wali bhayangarama chollum x rays all will be normal mri will be normal oru signs irukadu but avanga valaada aarambikkum bodhe wali nuvanga but konja valaaduvanga poi thondittu thirupi wali nu solluvanga it's a very chronic disorder adu vandu systematically like pathina x ray aagatum mri aagatum onnume kaatadhu but ana adu romba naal appadi konja konjama varum it's a debilitating condition it's all the coaches should be aware of this chondropathy nalpatta vali moota suthi irukkum bodhu you can always think of the probability of articular cartilage for that you need an expert orthopedic surgeon supported well supported by a physiotherapist to come out of it and if this is where the orthopedic aids will come into play uh, knee cap uh, taping uh, splints uh, proper shoes uh, உதாரணத்துக்கு நான் சொல்றேன் சோ தீஸ் ஆர் ஆல் தி திங்ஸ் விச் கேன் கம் இன் டு ரெஸ்கியூ ஓகே ஆர் யூ டேர் வித் மீ எஸ் மூணாவது பார்க்கும்போது பாத்தீங்கன்னா ஜாயிண்ட் ஜாயிண்ட்ல என்ன ஆலாம் கோவிந்தசாமி சார் சொன்னாரு அக்யூட்ல பாத்தீங்கன்னா யூ கேன் ஹவ் டிஸ்லொகேஷன் அண்ட் சப்ளக்சேஷன் அது பாத்தீங்கன்னா எந்த ஜாயிண்ட் வேணா ஆகணும் ரொம்ப வல்லரபிள் பாத்தீங்கன்னா ஷோல்டர் ஜாயிண்ட் ஓவர் இட் ஸ்போர்ட்ஸ்ல ரொம்ப 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 காமன் ஏன் கிரிக்கெட்ல கூட ரொம்ப காமன் எப்ப வேணா ஆகலாம் ஸ்ரேயா சையா இருக்கு ரீசெண்டா ஆச்சு இப்ப நீங்க பாக்குற பிக்சர்ல பாத்தீங்கன்னா பாத்தீங்கன்னா கிளாசிக்கல் டிஸ்லொகேஷன் கொஞ்சமா இருக்கும் ஆனால் இதே கிரானிக்கா பாத்தீங்கன்னாக்கா கிரானிக் ஜாயிண்ட் இஷ்யூ தான் பாத்தீங்கன்னா சைனோவைட்டிஸ் ஆர் ஆஸ்டியார்த்ரைட்டிஸ் அப்படின்னு பாத்தீங்கன்னா ஜென்ரலா வரக்கூடிய முட்டி வலி 
இந்த முட்டி வலி அப்படின்னு பாத்தீங்க அப்படின்னாக்கா இந்த வயசானா வரக்கூடிய அவங்களோட முட்டி வலி வந்து டீஜென்ரேட்டிவ் அதாவது ஏஜ் ஆறனால கொஞ்சம் வரக்கூடிய முட்டி தேய்மானங்கள் வந்து ஸ்போர்ட்ஸ் பர்சன் கூட வரலாம் இஃப் இட் இஸ் நாட் பீங் ப்ராப்பர்லி அட்டண்டட் அவங்களுக்கு அஸ்டி ஆத்தரைட்டிஸ் அல்லது சைனோவைட்டிஸ் சைனோவைட்டிஸ்ங்கிறது சைனோவின்றது ஒரு ஒரு முட்டை சுத்தி ஒரு ஒரு சின்ன கவரிங் அந்த கவரிங் வந்து என்ன ஆகும் அப்படின்னு கேட்டீங்கன்னா இன்ஃப்ளேம் ஆகி நாள்பட்டு அடி தேய்மான ஆகி அது வந்து கொஞ்சம் வீக்கம் கொடுக்க ஆரம்பிக்கலாம் ஸோ மூட்டில் ரொம்ப நாளாக வீக்கம் இருக்கு அப்படின்னா அதை உதாசீனா படுத்த வேண்டாம் நெவர் இக்னோர் சைனோவைட்டிஸ் தட் இஸ் அ இல் டிஃபைன் ஸ்வெல்லிங் அரவுண்ட் த ஜாயிண்ட் ஷுட் நாட் பி இக்னோர் Yes, that is, yes, you are right. So, uh, that is what uh, the difference between an acute injury in the joint and a chronic injury in the joint. So, these are the major differences. Yes, having said that, we will go to the next slide. Yeah, ligaments. Joint kapra. Yes, Mr. Vijay Raghavan, sir. Yes, sir. Please tell me. Tell me, Vijay Raghavan, sir. You have raised your hand. Yes, sir. You can unmute yourself and talk. Yes, Mr. Vijay Raghavan. Can I proceed? Okay. So, if a ligaments, when you take about uh, ligaments, ligaments part of it is if it is acute it can be a sprain or a tear a chronic one pathina it could be mostly an inflammation for example you play or or hockey player varadi tear kar he slips his ankle he he has a pop sound followed by a check out a swelling severe pain that can be a ligamental rupture or a sprain but whereas a patient can have or a player can have a mild amount of swelling around the joint and which can keep increasing every day as he continues to play for a month and one fine day you see that it is so swollen so painful and so debilitating he cannot even walk so that is a difference between a sprain and an inflammation of a ligament that is what a ligament is all about and uh, when it is ligament it goes without saying that it is the sprain which is the ligament and having said that when it is going to be muscles it is going to be a strain s t r a i n goes to the muscle s p r a i n goes to the ligaments and uh, most of us you and i physiotherapist agatum or coach agatum we are more concerned with the muscles you know when it goes to the joint or the muscle bone orthopedic surgeon takes over and when it comes to the rest of the things it is going to be the physical education which is going to play a major role but when it is going to be a muscular part of it we both have a major role to play so for muscles in paakum bodu pathina acute injuries pathina you can have either rupture or a bleed ullukulliye chinna ratham kattirukalam mostly pa sar sonna mari cramps vandirukalam illa compartment syndrome compartment syndrome appadina or edathila or 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 compartment la ஒரு மசில் வந்து டேர் ஆறனாலையோ இல்ல பிளீட் ஆறனாலையோ மற்ற ஸ்ட்ரக்சர்ஸ் எல்லாம் அதிக அமுங்க ஆரம்பிச்சு ஒரு கம்பார்ட்மெண்ட்ல ஒரு சீ ஒரு ஒரு இந்த மூணு பேர் உட்கார வேண்டிய சீட்ல ஒருத்தர் ரொம்ப குண்டா இருந்தாருனா மீதி ரெண்டு பேர் மூணு பேர் உட்கார இடத்துல ஒரு ஆள் குண்டா இருந்தாலும் மீதி ரெண்டு பேர் வந்து நசுக்கப்படுவாங்க தட் இஸ் வாட் இஸ் கால்ட் கம்பார்ட்மெண்ட் சிண்ட்ரோம் ஸோ மசில்ஸ்ல வந்து கம்பார்ட்மெண்ட் சிண்ட்ரோம் ரொம்ப ரொம்ப காமன் யூ ஹாவ் டு ஆல்வேஸ் வாட்ச் அவுட் கம்பார்ட்மெண்ட் சிண்ட்ரோம் வென் யூ சி தட் இஸ் அ ஸ்வெல்லிங் விச் இஸ் இன்க்ரீசிங் அப் நார்மலி and when pain is also in, increasing with the swelling you have to always think of compartment syndrome which is very very dangerous because it can damage the nerves and uh, arteries and veins distal for example in the ungal compartment syndrome uh, arm la irukku appadina ungalude upper limb vandu we can go for a damage complete damage anala romba jagrathaya irukku anala immediate medical attention uh, an expert advice vandu poradhu romba romba uchitha the next comes the chronic part of the muscle injury is the compartment syndrome நான் சொன்ன மாதிரி அக்யூட் அண்ட் கிரானிக் அக்யூட்ங்கிறது உங்களுக்கு டெவலப் ஆகிட்டு இருக்கு கிரானிக்ங்கிறது டெவலப் ஆகி எஸ்டாப்ளிஷ் ஆகிடுது ஓகே அடுத்தது பார்த்தீங்கன்னா முக்கியமான ஒரு இது டோம்ஸ்ன்னு சொல்லுவோம் டோம்ஸ் இஸ் சம்திங் வெரி வெரி இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் டிலேட் ஆன்செட் மசில் சோர்னஸ் இந்த கிரானிக் மஸ்குலர் இன்ஜுரியில டோம்ஸ்ங்கிறது இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் திங் அதாவது உதாரணத்துக்கு பார்த்தீங்கன்னா ஒரு ஒரு இண்டிவிஜுவலை வந்து 
ஒரு புது விதமான ட்ரைனிங் எடுத்து போறீங்க யூ டேக்கிங் ஃபார் அ நியூ ட்ரைனிங் வேர் தி இண்டிவிஜுவல் இஸ் எக்ஸ்போஸ் டு அ பிசிக்கல் ஆக்டிவிட்டி ஆர் அ பிசிக்கல் டிமாண்ட் விச் இஸ் நாட் யூஸ் டு அண்ட் யூ சி தெர் வில் பி அ சோர்னஸ் விச் இஸ் மச் டிலேட் விச் வில் பிரசன்ட் இட் த நெக்ஸ்ட் டே ஃபார் எக்ஸாம்பிள் இன்னி காலையில கொடுத்த ட்ரைனிங்க்கு அடுத்த நாள் கார்த்தால தான் உங்களுக்கு வந்து வலியே வரும் ஸ்டிஃபா இருக்கும் பெயின்ஃபுல்லா இருக்கும் கொஞ்சம் சோலனா இருக்கும் வார்மா இருக்கும் இட் இஸ் ஆல் பிகாஸ் ஆஃப் லாக்டிக் ஆசிட் டெபாசிஷன் that is what delayed onset of muscle soreness is about anybody in this group i would love to uh, hear what is your uh, usual approach for downs anybody sir any experts here who can who can who can talk about uh, uh, downs adavadu or or individual training ku kondu poringa kuttu poringa varainga downs varudhu that is delayed onset of muscle soreness varudhu how do you manage those ungloda practical experience okay fine If there is anything please let me i'll discuss and uh, uh, chronic la pathina sila samayathula vande and the tissue vande sariya treat pannama pochu appadina ka you can have fibrosis fibrosis is nothing but thickening of the normal tissues or muscle appadina eduthina it contracts and relaxes contracts and relaxes so but what happens is once it is injured it starts to move less and once when it starts to move less the mobility part gets reduced and if it is reduces to the extent that it doesn't move at all you have a high chances of it getting fibrosed the calcium and electrolyte substitution that is uh, that is what sinu uh, asreddy uh, you are right uh, you give it for dehydration calcium and electrolyte substitution is to uh, is is given to Uh, uh, stop the occurrence of domes or stop muscle fatigue or tiredness mostly the dehydration ninga solradhu okay so that is are uh, there is something special for domes i think that's a very good topic where we can discuss now and it will be beneficial if anybody is interested so domes is a very important topic in sports it's not an injury but it is a very common uh, problem which you will face with uh, as, uh, with with athletes especially a bit older athletes if they are more than 20 you are likely to have more children ko varalam but they don't express it much okay this is a very important uh, not very important very but very a debatable uh, uh, topic uh, what is difference between strain and sprain anybody in this group would like to throw some lights on this what is the difference between strain and sprain you have it in the screen of course as i previously mentioned strain is concerned with muscle and sprain is concerned with the ligament yes i think reddy sir has answered oh yes sir muscle related ligament yes sinu has reddy is very active thank you sir you are right it is concerned with the strain is concerned with the ligament uh, sorry muscle and the sprain is concerned with the ligament what we need to understand a strain is a partial or a complete tear of a muscle tendon the most common strain muscles are this is the important thing which i wanted to convey to this group you need to know a strain can happen in those muscles which causes crosses two or more joints i'm sorry one or more joints let me make it clear and loud the strain to a muscle is very common in those groups which it crosses more than one joint and i have something to add more in more eccentric activity okay eccentric activity is considered to be the most difficult contraction of a muscle and when a muscle is putting is being put into eccentric function and when the muscle has got more than two joints or one joint to cross that muscle is very very vulnerable to highly vulnerable to a strain and very commonly involved muscle is as you all know tendon achilles hamstrings these sort of rectus femoris these sort of muscles can go into strain immediately following a fatigable session especially when you are at a hot sun like that. and romba commona paaka pona ka the strain can happen in predominantly in the lower limb muscles and in the upper limb muscles and it is commonly seen in the myotendinous junction that is where the muscle attaches to the bone and knee ankle elbow shoulder and fingers are very commonly involved that is all about the strain coming to the sprain part of it sprain is very localized 
it is close to the joint and it is more distal udharanamah paaka poningna knee and ankle elbow wrist and fingers these are the certain things na which can lead you uh, to a uh, condition where you make your uh, ligaments vulnerable and uh, and injure yourself so that is what uh, I, i i need to highlight it and the trauma can be direct or indirect a uh, how do you explain a sprain ipo goind sami sir ketta ketta how can uh, how can we prevent how can we ivlo training kuduthu onnu aaga maatikidu once you know an ex candidate is vulnerable for its uh, straining his knee joint or ligament muttila adi vaangaradhukku vaayppugal irukku nu therinjaduna indirect ah eppadi prevent pannalam appdi kettinga by giving him the proper shoes the support point of support irukku liya foot vandu proper ah neenga stabilize pannumbodhu you prevent the knee vulnerability for injury so injury varam irukkuradhukku distal ah indirect ah you give a support and prevent injuries or occurrence and you stop it that is what you need to understand from the prevention point of view and one of the most commonest injuries to the romba romba common adi padral pathina knee and ankle and the knee la pathinga appadina medial collateral ligament the ul pakkama irukku and acl soliter ligament irukku that is also very vulnerable foota porthala deltoid ligament nu solvanga that is very very commonly uh, in uh, occurring um, injury i mean uh, spraining ligament so having said that this is a difference between uh, sprain and strain okay now coming to the million dollar question going to some sir first i get that how do you prevent it i didn't get that ipo or or sport ku vande or coach irupanga for example volleyball ku pathina you have an expert volleyball coach mr x you have an expert cricket coach by name mr y so the x ku y ku pathina there will be 100 differences not only in uh, in in training but in screening process because as a coach you know what are the vulnerable things and what are the strength and weaknesses of the particular sport has got let him be a bowler or a keeper or a fielder in a cricket or a volleyball coach whether he, he smashes or he serves or he lifts so the, the major difference uh, only the coach knows similarly a therapist who is specialized in sports rehab will be the right person along with an orthopedic surgeon or a physician has to screen them prior to the game selection process le screening you incorporate pan you but we don't normally do it but that is a standard protocol everywhere on the sport ku theviyana medical screening um kuda seyandu kondu poiduva so that can give you a great index of prevention uh, strategies to be developed across the table and for you to be prepared even you get the best sports person the preparation part of is very important and that's where the medical screening comes you have a team of surgeon physician therapist a psychologist and a coach coach plays a pivotal role because he knows in and out of the sport what the orthopedic surgeon or the physiotherapist doesn't know so coach plays a pivotal role in bridging the gap and in screening the individual to get into the sport without any injuries and uh, you can, you may see that a person is uh, in a child highly competent in that skillful sport but is is incompetent in his physical status as can say so that is where the support of the uh, physiotherapist or the condition people is concerned so if you see this particular video uh, the, he is a volleyball player who had undergone an acl surgery and um, he has been uh, he has been rehabilitated by our uh, department and uh, he is going to get into the sport i'm sorry i didn't hide the face uh, apologies for that and uh, you this is uh this is a test which is being done uh, to check the integrity of the a uh, operated ligament whether it is working normally or not we have a calculation and based on the measurement we have an index to be calculated and that is being done and uh, based on the outcome of the test 
we say this person whether he can get back to sports or not uh, anybody in this group what test is this శ్రీనివాస రెడ్డి గారికి అన్నిటికి ఒక బదిలీ ఉంది ఇంటర్నేషనల్ అరీ నో సార్ దట్ ఈస్ అవర్ మిస్కాన్సెప్షన్ రెడ్డి సార్ హెస్ కమిటెడ్ దీస్ సార్ట్ ఆఫ్ స్క్రీనింగ్ కెన్ హ్యాపన్ ఓన్లీ ఇన్ ఇంటర్నేషనల్ అరీ నో సార్ యూ కెన్ యూ కెన్ యూ కెన్ బ్రింగ్ ఇట్ ఇన్ యువర్ ఓన్ స్కూల్ విచ్ ప్లేస్ యు ఆర్ ఫ్రమ్ రెడ్డి సార్ విచ్ ప్లేస్ యు ఆర్ ఫ్రమ్ కర్నూల్ ఏపి గుడ్ ఇఫ్ యూ గో టు కర్నూల్ అండ్ ఇఫ్ యూ పిక్అప్ అ గవర్నమెంట్ స్కూల్ you go talk to the physical education teacher tell him that if you see a person incompetence don't put that person into that particular sport where his incompetence can lead to injury ask him to put him in a different sport on in the not in the sport which he is not competent of that can happen even in kurnool a government school where a physical education teacher alone can take a call on that don't don't tell that it is our approach we have to initiate and not it is not from top to bottom it is from bottom to top it is us to put forth <laughs> i am differing in that i am ready to uh, debate on that we have to say that to the higher authority say that sir this fellow is not good we have to watch him out so this is one such an example where i can show you proudly that we have put back this individual to i think he is a kabaddi player i'm not sure kabaddi or volley i don't know he went back to his sport and i think he is playing reasonably well i won't say that he has uh, won laurels for the country but he is doing well he is back to that uh, uh, sport that is something very important and that's where the uh, the uh, the coach and the physiotherapist interaction is very very important no, i don't want to get into an argument that is a i think you must switch on the mic and talk i can come this better i'm not able to read and reply you and uh, based on this prevention strategies also you need to screen their alcohol abuse or drug abuse and very important take home message is that when you are febrile fever when you have fever and when you are recovering that too when you have undergone this covid illness and now this uh, viral fever is picking up the uh, the occurrences uh, incidence is so high so always look for fever when somebody is coming back from fever they are not fit believe me you have to give them a time period of latency uh, you have that is that you cannot say you cannot ask me how long it, it, it varies from individual to individual that's why i say medical screening progressive regular medical screening is very very important or else you make the individual life in geopad geopad is the future that should never be done Uh, coming to the part of the prevention continuing to say that uh, you should a coach uh, he plays a very important role here he should understand the risk as i rightly said the incompetency of the individual about his physical status has to be highlighted even though he is competent enough to play the sport and to understand the risk of the sport and to manage it either in the form of preparation or in the form of prevention so that is where the coach of Uh, the role of the coach is very very important and understanding the rules as a coach you are well versed in that so you try to in trying to take advantage of the rules part of it you try to take a call on that and the environment plays a very important role suppose you see that an individual sprains the ankle very very uh, very frequently and if you are going to give him in a skating sport just watch out it's better you avoid that fellow to uh, play it until yes Uh, completely recovered and uh, protective equipment and devices i think most of you are aware of it suppose you have an udharanathukku pona style la pathina that fellow even though he is back to sport i always ask him whenever you get into sport just wear a knee cap or protective gears uh, to that sport is always safer two there are two advantages one is very important the psychological part of it the second part is that it prevents certain amount of accessory movements undesirable movement which can lead to complications other provide pandrathukku ungalku equipment sir and prehab is something very 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 important before the match you need to have high standard of physical conditioning warming up stretching and and the important the endurance part of and the strength part of it and 
uh, there you need a little expertised uh, uh, rehabilitation, not rehabilitation, but involving proprioceptive flexibility and agility training has to be incorporated for prevention of sports injuries. This doesn't come into management, but prevention also is a sort of management because sometimes after that you, you feel that it's too costly. The sixth part is the tendon. Tendon is the attachment of muscle to the bone. It can be either a partial or a complete tear if it's an acute. It's a chronic part of it, it's going to be tendinopathy. You can see uh, the jumping sports. Some people will complain pain of the posterior part of the, uh, the uh, foot. And the, that is the TA part, tendo Achilles, the part where it attaches to the heel. That gets swollen uh, for a repeated uh, injuries. Bursa, as I mentioned, mentioned uh, but sometimes no, it gets immediately uh, following injury, you get it swelling. But there are certain people who has got a constant persistent swelling, which is chronic in nature. Both are not a right candidate for a heavy sports. It has to be attended. An orthopedic surgeon will come in handy to manage this. Now, this is something very interesting to know. Acute, it's very rare in sports, but it has been reported um, in neck especially in karate or in cycle falls, they have observed a nerve to the muscle which supplies the scapula, what you're seeing on the screen, has been damaged. It's called a spinal accessory nerve. Uh, that nerve, it, is, it supplies a muscle which stabilizes the scapula, that is a trapezius. The trapezius paralysis can lead to winning of scapula, what you're seeing in the screen, that has been reported off late. And uh, chronic cases, I personally have witnessed a volleyball player. A volleyball player has uh, had a, a problem in a nerve which supplies the muscle. You can see this wasting. Wasting means the muscle gets thinned out. Here you see it is bulky. Here it is sunken out. This muscle has gone for wastage because the muscle is being supplied by a nerve which crosses the scapula here, that gets occluded for some reason because of excessive overhead sports and that can lead to a nerve injury which can lead to weakness and severe pain of shoulder. Mostly it is being missed. That is a very inter important, interesting topic that is a suprascapula entrapment neuropathy. Okay, that is a very, very uh, important uh, uh, thing to understand whenever you get uh, the pain, a prolonged, long standing pain in the shoulder with this, and it, 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 you feel is it is it so difficult for us to understand this picture? No, not at all. Only thing is, you need to know that this can happen in the shoulder, a long standing pain. You can see the arrow mark in the shoulder when you have a, a long standing pain here or here, which doesn't have any clinical. Uh, investigation or x-ray or MRI are looking normal, but despite the patient has got this wasting, he can be thought of a suprascapula nerve entrapment. Take him to an orthopedic surgeon. He will give you uh, important observations and management because this is very common with volleyball players. I've seen two cases of uh, in, uh, suprascapula entrapment neuropathy with a classically this sort of shoulder. Uh, this is weakness and wasting of infraspinatus muscle, that is one which supplies the shoulder, which is important to do this movement and uh, that can have an injury. So chronic cases, you have a, a gradual onset. This is an acute onset. We have discussed it before. The last one is going to be your skin. I think I need not talk much about it. I'm just touching it because it has to be spoken about. The last classification, acute, you have a open or a punctured wound. Chronic, you'll have Calisets. What you see on the picture is uh, for a uh, athlete. You can see the shape of the shoes, and constantly he has been loading on this part, and the skin has become thick and worn out. And this can what we call as callosites, which can cause some amount of pain and irritation, and which can definitely disturb and uh, delay the uh, athlete's uh, uh, prosper. Coming to the management part of it, having discussed in detail about the a musculoskeletal vulnerable areas. Uh, we discussed some nine things. Everybody in this group are familiar with this. It is from uh, when we did our undergrad, it was called as ice, ice, compression and elevation. Then came rise. 
that is rest the part, cool the part, compress the part, and keep the part elevated. That is the rise concept. Now recently, P has been added to it. It is nothing but to protect the part, rest the part, ice the part, and compress the part, and keep the limb elevated to aid a good amount of circulation. So uh, this is a this is a straightforward uh, slide where everybody can understand. But I need to uh, go in depth of it because I'm supposed to talk about the management. The protect protection, the first P stands for protection. This you can see it on your screen that these three splints are meant for protecting the ankle, okay? See, once you see that uh, the part is injured and you need to protect, you can use a good brace, whether it is a sprain or a strain or a fracture or an injury to the cartilage or a nerve injury, irrespective of it, you protect the part. That is very, very important. So you, the, the orthotic supports, it's called as orthosis. These sort of things you know, is, is normally uh, should be there in your uh, sport and uh, medical kit, uh, along with the crutch, with tape and strapping, etc. Remember, in sports, it is essential. Uh, you have to have a quick recovery. Treatment has to be done on time. If you don't protect the part immediately, there is no point in protecting it later. So the immediate protection means a lot, as I previously mentioned in the spinal cord injury. So that is all about the first one. The rest part, that's a good slide. I know you all will relish it. Uh, see, Shreya Zaya, he was operated. He's back. He did well in the recent IPL. Neeraj Chopra, needless to mention, he had a shoulder surgery done. He got the gold in Olympics. We are all proud of these two guys. But what they underwent, nobody knows. Now, because they achieved, we know that they have undergone this. Or because they were achieving, like Shreya Zaya, we came to know that he underwent this. So rest is something very important. That's where a physio and coach usually fights. The coach says, I want him. Physio says, no, I won't give him. So that's where the debate starts. True rest in sports is debatable. Absolute rest is mandatory. That's where this picture comes. Here you cannot do anything. You have to do it. And the relative rest is where the debate starts between the therapist and the coach. It has to be done very carefully, skillfully, and with complete supervision. There are lots of benchmarks are there, how to progress about it. Like you satisfy some basic criteria, so you select them to do this level of activity. Over a period of time, he has done it, he has not developed any flaring up signs, you go to the next level. So you have some benchmarks based on which the individual is being gradually promoted to the next level of activity so that he doesn't have re-injury. The chances of re-injury are very, very high in sports. And that's where a sports physiotherapist and the coach role is very crucial. So the rest here means a lot. Ice, as you all know, it limits bleeding, it reduces swelling, it reduces the inflammation and prevents further damage. So what you see it on the screen is something which you do it day in and out. Okay, now tell me how many of this, how many of the uh, persons in this group carry uh, ice pack in their, uh, in their, in their, uh, I mean, they, they carry it along the team. Anybody? Anybody please switch on your mic and answer. Anybody, sir? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Please tell me, sir. How do you carry it? Sir, the more cold uh, the package is, sir, the you can carry it. Okay, you carry gel yes, packs. Sir. You carry gel yes, packs. Sir. Do you yes, take, it, uh, take it in an uh, ice cold container or you take a thermo container? High school contains like a thermocol. Oh, good, good. Thermocol box. Good, good, sir. Good, sir. So you 
previous day itself you load it in the refrigerator and then you carry it on the mats good 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 sir good sir see the can i ask one doubt sir sir can we apply ice cubes or ice packs on our cake sir can we apply sir i didn't get you can i can we apply ice packs for head injuries there is a open injury where you notice uh, uh, injury to the skull can apply is that is that is up. but as long as the individual is conscious is not bleeding through nose or ears he doesn't have vomiting he has a injury into the head or scalp where you find some some amount of the swelling uh, you can always apply it but you should not press it too hard okay you can always do that but it has to be done under precaution you cannot press it too hard it's it's a bit critical thanks that's a wise question yes sir so ice application is uh, normally done like this that's good seniors ready as answer yes in thermocol box yes sir good sir so ice is being done and how to do this the, the question which i asked uh, ganesh sir was uh, ganesh sir came up was like nice and the very purpose for me to ask us what are the types of ice packs you can see so this is where a, physio, a physiotherapist or a coach can be a uh, handy in injury management how do you carry it you can see you can have a crushed ice like what you see it in the picture here it can be a chemical ice packs like what you see it in gel pack what uh, ganesh sir mentioned now and reusable gel pack holds is similar to this and this is uh, this is something what you see it on here uh, it nowadays it is uh, it is slowly picking up in the market but is very costly you have a pump which pumps cold air you wrap the part and strap it with velcro you switch on the machine and this is getting colder and colder and cold and it starts to compress the part so the price na the compression and ice part of it is being done by cryocuff they call it as cryocuff pumps that is ice pumps in other ways yeah so that is what uh, the cryocuff is all about and most handy nowadays no you can see it in ipl all the physios will be carrying a spray and uh, this is uh, they, they they just use a vapor coolant and uh, you just spray it on the surface it gets uh, it gets evaporated reducing the temperature of the skin in that particular spot and uh, it is being well contained and the purpose of uh, reducing the temperature is achieved so this is how these are all the means how which you can definitely manage cryopax on the field how much is the million dollar question this is according to the evidence which i have highlighted no continuous application is not that great so intermittent application protocol is usually followed whatever joint you are in whatever sport you are in. so apply ice intermittently how frequently it has to be done at least once in two hours how long it can be done for 20 to 30 minutes minimum of 20 minutes usually we do it and it has to be can be done for a day or two no harm in doing it as long as it becomes more than 4 5 days after which you go for hot packs so remember when it is going to be acute management it is going to be rice when it is going to be chronic it is going to be a hot packs that comes handy so uh, uh, frequency part of is let me repeat it is minimum of 20 to 30 minutes a maximum of 30 minutes it has to be done second hourly and it can be done for a day or two even for day or three two to three days it can be done no harm in it so that's what evidence speaks and remember for this particular treatment we have plenty of evidence which can save uh, save the uh, uh, athletes or the sports person's career and not a joke no no it's so simple but it is so effective who will not refuse who won't refuse okay then comes the okay, the contraindications where you are not supposed to do it when you have a damaged skin somebody was asking so can you put it on the cut injury when you have a damaged skin you are not supposed to apply ice you can you may try applying it around the part but not on the injury part and when you suspect a nerve damage or a sensation is altered never apply ice on the part and when you know that we were talking about a muscular injury and a compartment syndrome uh, remember the uh, train compartment or the train seat which i gave an example when you have an altered circulation please 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 no don't ever apply ice because it will constrict the arteries and which will even more deplete the vascularity to the area and it can lead to 
uh, necrosis, that is a death of the muscle tissue, so never do that ever. And there are some conditions which I cannot tell you or which cannot be discussed in this workshop. Ice application can increase the pain. Normally when you apply ice, the minute you apply ice, you will get a hypersensitive reaction. Okay. But over a bit of time, now it will start becoming numb. After some minute or so, it will become numb. After which the pain increases, usually you take it up. And again, the individual starts to experience pain, you apply it again. And after a while, you take it out. This is what normal application is all about. I think you have an experience about that. If there are certain conditions, wait, the minute you apply it, the minute you apply it, you increase it, and it keeps increasing exorbitantly. The patient doesn't allow you to touch the part. So never do that in that area. It, they say it's a neural cause, uh, hypersensitive reaction to pain. I'm sorry, to high eyes, but you never know what is that. So you cannot, you cannot really know the, the hypersensitivity to eyes part of it. So, that, so having said that, contraindications. Uh, normally, my teacher says, when you treat a patient, when you treat an individual, even if you don't do what you are supposed to do. It's not a problem. It's not a sin. It's not a mistake. It's not a blunder. But you should not do what you are not supposed to do. So my teacher always rightly says, when you attend to an individual, please don't harm them, even if you don't improve or if you don't treat them well, if you don't attend to them well. It's immaterial. Whether you do it or not, it's up to you, but never harm them. So always, when you approach a thing, you should know what you should not do. So contraindication comes first, then comes the indication. So having known that eyes is very effective, you also should know when you should not do it. So that is what management is all about. Having said that, this is one of our experience. This is a case of uh, anterior cruciate ligament injury, a sports injury, an athlete, a sports person who is an, presently a policeman who had developed this rashes following eyes application. Okay. This was a, I should say, a, a, a undesirable action, undesirable response to uh, an approach. You apply eyes thinking that it's good, it has to be done. It has to be given, it will be doing good. Sometimes you can have this. And for, him, for, 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 the, for, the, for the proof, the person is right in front of you. So we were the one to give it to this and we saw that this reaction started up. So this we have published in PubMed and this is called this condition is called as cold urticaria. This is a skin condition where this, the application of eyes can lead to uh, skin reactions and uh, based on this uh, experience now we have understood that we should ask for a detailed history and medical screening. The very purpose for, of me to put the slide across to you is to understand you need to understand the complications contraindications before initiating any treatment any, any approach. Being a physical education teacher you are very much exposed to all these vulnerable sports injuries on the sports, on the, on the field. So you should have a proper team where you have a, a physiotherapist, a psychologist, and a team physician. He may not be on the team with the team, but he may be on a call. You can call him and talk to him always. WhatsApp is there. Picture can be sent. Video can be sent. So please be prepared. When you go to a sport, take all the protective gears, ice packs, supports, splints, be prepared. And you always have to know what should not be done and what should be done. So management of sports injuries is all to do with a proper understanding. And it is a purely a teamwork. It is not one man's job. And the hero is the sports person himself, well supported by the coach, the therapist, and the physician or the surgeon. So this is a team job, a teamwork for us to manage a sports injury and it's not one day job or a one man show. So having the uh, criteria of this particular sports person's future in your hand, 
you have to be very well prepared you have to be you have to be always on your on your toes and you need to have all your team with the experts around to manage an injury it could be a minor or a major limb or the spine spine or the head everything has to be given equal importance having said that we all are a part of a team to deliver the best to a sports person and to take the country ahead and put our foot confidently forward in bringing up and adding adding up laurels to the nation having said that i thank the authorities to give me a wonderful chance to speak and see you all by this online webinar i hope this uh, this presentation was uh, fairly useful to all of you and i open up this uh, debate or discussion or question and answer session yes sir it's all yours i would love to discuss argue fight with you all thank you once again thank you to dr mohan krishna for giving me a wonderful opportunity i think i did serve the purpose I kept up your expectation levels did i yes sir yes sir it was a wonderful presentation and you have answered plenty of questions to our participants sir we are so much happy happy very 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 happy and delighted sir okay okay sir. uh dr mohan are you here yes sir yes sir ne what up thanks for having sir thank you so much sir mohan krishnan sir thank you so much and uh, principal sir romba thanks sir okay sir we shall go to the concluding part uh, i like to thank dr albert hori for welcoming the gathering i like to thank dr j mohan krishnan well known great personality in the field of physiotherapy thank you Sir, for sharing your experience and knowledge to the young budding physical educationist, I thank all the participants for your patient sharing and asking plenty of questions to the research person and enriching your knowledge. Thank you, thank you. See you all tomorrow morning at ten o'clock in the six day session. God bless you all. Take care. We we'll see you tomorrow. Bye bye.